Now we into it. Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. So, I normally drink water off stream. By the way, what's up, people? I, I normally drink water off stream. Um, it's pretty much just all I drink, but I like what I drink soda and shit, sure. But it's normally what I I don't really drink on the stream for no real reason. Just because of the fact that it's like on stream, I want to have like a beverage. I need to have the bev, all right, to uh to soothe me. Um, but. I, I have no bevs left, so I'm like, alright, I got G Fuel, that's just water, and then the solution I got over there, so I'm like, alright. I reach for my bottle, I'm like, I haven't drank G Fuel in a few weeks, you know. I picked it up, and something was immediately off, because it was like, half full, like a quarter full, and I'm like, because if you've ever left G Fuel in a bottle, alright, backtrack if you left anything in a bottle for two three weeks there's gonna be a science experiment in there especially with G fuel there's gonna be a science experiment in there so I was immediately frightened opened it up in black spots and I'm like oh so I was that's what I was doing for the past 12 minutes is cleaning this fucking thing out thoroughly and now now it's better I love how I'm, I'm always a test subject for my own ideas. I went downstairs to fill that up with water. And I, I drank out of it. And I'm like... No mold taste, but... It's a little soapy. <laughs> Swallowed some soap mixed in with the water. So... But... You know, I'm still brazen. For now. But... Don't really know which build to play. I just want to play something. Oh, hello. But, uh, either Ordovis. Nah. I'm gonna try out this build. Stabby! Uh. Just roll to my next area. Fast as fuck, boy. Wait, have I discovered that? But yeah, yeah. How much have I discovered on this character? Not very much. I, mean, I am only level 11, but right. So I just got the Erd Steel Dagger, uh, which does holy. No, but it scales with faith. Um, so it scales with faith, but doesn't do holy damage. That's kind of shitty. I don't know. Because, like, I'm probably not going to be leveling faith that much. Like, at all. I don't know. Um. Let us go. You know what? I'm going to try out. What I've got on uh, Can I parry the tree sentinel? I do want to see that. Can I parry the tree sentinel? I missed. No, you cannot. Probably not, at least. I, yeah, I am. Um, I don't, I don't think you can. 
Well, I want to look that up though, because I'm not like good at this game. Not that great, so it's like I do want to look that up real quick. Totally can. You totally can parry that shit. What? No way. So I just gotta really get good on this one. Jeez. Hola, homie. What did you I missed. Well, he missed me, but. I'm over here. Over here. Ow. That shit hurt. Shit hurts me. Yeah. Either I gotta really get better at this shit or it's it's not happening. Probably the latter, but you know. I've come to the executive decision that there's just too many builds that I want to do for this, um, like Elden Ring. Because I'm what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do a playthrough for every single weapon class in the game. Most, most of them. Not every single one, but the vast majority of them, yeah. Which, if you're unaware, there's quite a few weapon classes. So there, I'd be doing like 20 playthroughs. Like, it's insane. So it's not like, it's not reasonable to kind of imagine that. So that was dumb. Like it's just not reasonable to imagine that I could. Like I could, no, no, no okay, I'll, I'll put it this way. I could, but then I'd be an Elden Ring channel. And why I'm okay with being like a Souls channel, I don't want that to be all I am. Because I also still like playing Fallout and all. So, my point is that I'll probably just stream Elden Ring a bunch, which I already will be doing, and then just put it all into one big playlist and switch between characters midstream if I truly want to. Because I'm, unless it's like a challenge run or something, I'm probably not going to have like the mental tenacity to run through a four hour stream on the same build. I don't know, I just get bored of it and switch to something else. So I have not beaten the game yet. <laughs> just because I keep switching between builds. This for Doovy is pretty crazy. Oh. Lead proc, like jeez, thumbs. I don't even know why I dodged that. It's like he's so big. That's another thing with this build though. I don't want to just be a Redovia build, bro. Just generally knife and shit. No, no, come here. I want to get in with that, that dual blade finish. Bam. Slide like that. Just like that. Golden. 
Halbert, Coolio. I normally sell all the weapons that I don't need, that like I'm not going to use. Normally that's just what I end up doing. Just because it's, you know, if you have a weapon you're never going to use, why keep it? I mean, if it's like, you know, just your first playthrough or some shit, and you're just trying out weapons, and sure, but... So it is somber, okay. Other than that... Have I been to the mines yet? Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah, yeah, I beat the freaking Stone Digger Troll with the knives, and I'm like... Even I don't know how I did that, man. Here's what I'm gonna do. Did I come here? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. No, the Reduvius freaking bleed, bleed is insane. Just crazy to me. Alright, here we go. So, I think my next few levels are gonna be. Speaking of next few levels, my next few levels are probably gonna end up being. Um, Faith, I'd say. Just to be able to use that urge steel dagger all right flasks that's interesting cool hold up actually allocate yeah keep it right that so my faith is 10 i i use incantations on almost every build i just want to point that out because it's probably a yeah, I can go get one. Don't have the round table hold, never mind. So. Uh, wait. I don't remember, but there is, oh, there is a grace here. I did not know that, actually. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and beat, or try to beat the Bloodhound Knight over here. I said try, because he's kind of, kind of a thing. Like, he's kind of a, kind of a spooky character. Oh, I'll take that, whatever that is. Hey, go in the room. How many golden runes do I have, actually? Enough to level up. Alright, yeah, there's a stake of America at each of these. Cheap. I think I only have health put on this. This, uh, this flask here. I did not mean to do that. Ah, uh, my dodge button, I see. Oh, okay, yeah, you see, I love when my dodge button doesn't activate. That's the best. That's the best. Look at that pointy, pointy motherfucker. Still pretty cool looking boss. Like just a cool boss in general, just to be honest with you. I mean, first time I played this game, I now I'm gonna be honest with you. I've had kind of a problem with these kind of games where it's like I'll just look everything up. Most of the time I just look everything up and accidentally spoil myself of everything. And in the beginning of this game, I didn't. And then it kind of did, and I did. And then it ended up terribly. Because then I was like, oh, okay. Like, I know everything about fucking Faramzilla, and I'm in Limgrave. That makes sense. 
So whenever there's another Souls game or something, I, I really just need to fucking experience it for myself. Like, just to be honest, I really just need to do everything myself and not look shit up. I really need to. Because I think a lot of shit would have been better. Because, like, this guy is so unimportant at this point. Like, to me at least. He's not easy. I'm just saying unimportant. Like, he's not really that important. However... When I first saw this guy, he was like the most badass character I had ever fucking seen. This wolf. A dude. I. D <laughs> ah. You. I don't know why I dodged that. That was the wrong button. Let's go. Ah! I did not think that was enough room. Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah, that hurt. Why was I crouching? God knows. Maybe. Even he may not know. We may never know. You know, I actually saw that commercial the other day. Fucking Tootsie Roll commercial. Tootsie Pop, man. I was like, what the fuck are you still doing on TV? Okay. This is gonna be a little bit. This is going to be a little bit. This is going to take a little while. Let's roll. Mm. Thank you, Cup. That's nice for leaking on me. That's so great. Just give me one moment, sir. Fucking Christ. Are you shit me right now, dude? Like, what the fuck? It's, there's holes in it. Literally man-made holes. What the fuck? That's fucking retarded. Okay. Yeah, that's retarded. I don't get that. Anyways. Like how cool this guy was first time I saw him and how excited I was the first time I beat him. Bro. Thank you. I'm trying to get that bleed. That's that's really the uh, the goal here. Cause like as you can see, this guy doesn't have very much health. 85 damage did that much to him. So a bleed proc of like 400. Would, that would take up the majority of his health bar, I'd imagine. Dude. Oh, please. That. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Oh.
bleed actually staggered him. That's interesting. It didn't stagger him, but like, it knocked him over. Well, actually, that probably was a stagger. Ooh! Oh! Uh -huh. Yeah, his greatsword is also one of the coolest, if not the coolest, curved greatsword. Just look at that. Imagine you're a first time player seeing that shit. That's the coolest shit ever. Imagine my excitement when I found the fucking Bloodhound step. Cause I'm like, yo, I wanna move around like that shit, bro. There we go. All right, cool. Bloodhound thing. But like, I got Bloodhound step and I'm like, yo, dude, this is fucking awesome. This is. You know, I was saying to myself, wait, is this like the Bloodhound, dude? Can I shift around like that guy? I put it on my greatsword that I had at the time, and I started moving around, and I'm like, it was like that, but it was like disappeared slightly, and I'm like, oh, oh. then that's what I used for like a while. I was just like, this is badass. Ignoring my my dodge ability. But like, to be fair, the Bloodhound step, if I'm not wrong, does go a little bit further, and it is like a little bit wackier. Like it's it's pretty cool because you just literally phase between an attack. Like it just doesn't it stops existing. Get the stone sword key. You know what? I think I'm gonna go through the Weaving Peninsula this time. Hello, friend. I've never talked to this chick. I've seen her every time I walk by here, never talked to her. even a piece of dialogue I could get into. Yeah, yesterday's stream was a little wacky. There's a, like a 11 minute stream that my friends called me and I'm like, uh. but there was like the first stream, first time I streamed yesterday, I think it was like 40 or something minutes long. I don't know. I, I was getting a little heated, a little heated. And then I got pretty excited at, uh, when I, uh, I got pretty excited when I defeated the, uh, the boss, for now. Yeah. There you go. I don't know whether to put Mighty Shot on my short bow or not. stuffs to you selling
Probably not, but I'll keep it. Uh, yeah, whatever. All right. So, oh yeah, no, I definitely have enough to level up. I have enough to level up like two or three times. Alright, so I'd like to go fight the Erdtree Avatar. I need 15. I need 15 for Flame Grammy Strength. I need 14 for Erdtree. Or Ur Erdsteel. Yeah. Actually, I could fight this guy here, get some runes there, go up to the Earth Tree, fight that guy, and then go to the rest of the island. Here, did I get the dagger? I think I got the dagger, right? I did not. I need to go grab that. dogs nope not doing that shit like just the speed oh my ah, that's bolts the speed in which I hit these guys is insane now I I'm fast enough to actually hit these guys okay ow yeah Fucking hell. Piss off. Fuck him up. Where are you going? Oh, Jesus Christ. Come up. Got him. See that bleed proc, man? It saves. Bro! The delayed attacks, man. Oh. It's too easy. No. Okay. Well, that's it. Once they blow the horn, like, even for a second, it's, you know, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, that's nice. No backstab. There we go, backstab. Oh. There you go, all right. Oof. Oh, fuck. Yep. Oh, yeah, ow, that hurt. Yeah, ow, thank you. It's very nice. Hello? Let's just get around you. Nope. Okay, here we go. Let's Trying to get a backstab. There you go. Cool. I another thing about this thing. I'm trying to keep 
a light mode. I'm trying not to get into medium. So. Anyways, why I actually came here. Oh, some ruins too. Why I actually came here. Do it with the knives. I look retarded, but eh, it's fine. Most amount of armor for the least amount of weight. That's what I'm going for here. Um, I don't remember. Oh, right, Ash of War. That's what I was doing. Go down there. What was it? Because they wanted. Yeah, on the bow, that's what it was, okay. I want to see if I can put it on the bow, actually. I can. Okay, so here. It's like. The thing that I have for the bow right now is. It's like. It's, you know, rapid fire stuff. Which might not be a bad thing that I'm thinking about it. For a bow as light as this, that might not be a very bad thing. Right here. I just want some arrow stuff. That's great. Arrow stuff are bolts. I'm trying to fit a crossbow into one of my builds. Because I want to use a crossbow. It looks really cool to use a crossbow. But I'm trying to fit it in to one of my builds. Um, 70. Skills only with strength. Oh, my buckler also skills with dex. Yeah. Okay, that's why. It's also plus one. All right, that makes sense. But yeah, no, like a uh, crossbow. That'd be really cool to fit into a build. In my opinion, that'd be pretty fun. Uh, I think I might do like. I'm not gonna say a soldier build, but something like that. You know what I mean? Like medium shield, sword, like straight sword, and then crossbow, and just like see how that ends up. Um, I was thinking about doing like a carrion kind of build for my straight sword, because again, I'm doing like one playthrough for every weapon class. I'll probably just do like the the sword and shield kind of thing, because I also want to use a shield at least once. Like that's the thing with shields. And sorceries, or like staffs. Um, I know that I'm gonna use them more than once, like on more than one build. But I just want to use them at least on one build. So something like crossbows counts as a weapon class in my mind. So I want to use that once, and then like, you know, but like shields, I want to use it at least once on each each kind. So like a a big boy shield at least once. So like on my halberd build my like tree sentinel kind of a I already have a great shield used because of the earth tree because I'm using the earth tree great shield this one I'm using it would be small and uh, the other one would be medium so I'm also trying to do like this viking kind of build for axes like a medium shield preferably a round one and then um, like an axe stuff so and then that that's where I'd fit in the normal sized bow too, so that's that's kinda interesting. Anyways, arrows. I talk too much. Arrows. How many fucking runes do I have? Here, I'm gonna level up and then just spend the rest. Well. Yeah, yeah. And 
spend the rest on arrows. Level up. This gets worse with dexterity. Causes that causes blood loss too. The, the fuck does the urge tree do? I guess it scales with faith too. I'll try it out. I mean, it looks cool, sure, yeah. Here. Purchase all the arrows I can. Here, you know, I'm just. I now have a few arrows. Oh, what type of arrows? So, bone arrows? Fletched arrows. Item crafting, I cannot make any type of arrows yet. Jesus Christ, I don't know why I'm in this group chat. Like, my friend, like, RJ put me in this fucking group chat, dude. For Rust, and I don't fucking play Rust that much, so I'm like, he's like, no, 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 but you'll like the people there. And I'm like, <sighs> like, I, I liked, I liked playing Rust a lot, but then I'm like, alright, sure. I get on, did not like the fucking people. Right, and I'm like, I don't know. They were just the most fucking Jesus Christ. They weren't fun people. They were, they were just annoying. You know what I mean? Like the dude, as soon as I go, he goes, "Kill yourself," and I'm like, "Okay." Don't like kids like that. I don't know why. It just pisses me off. Hello, friend. You know what I mean? Though? It's like, it's not like humor. I'm guessing Redivia is going to be a little bit better. Yeah, so that's like 249 on a rack up. Let me go over here. To this guy. Hold off, friend. Less damage, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so less damage, but comparatively so this is a great knife plus two. Oh, oh jesus christ they're all here oh hello friends Fr friends and family jesus christ it's thanksgiving dinner compare that to like this okay i think the great knife might be good. but that's also plus two here riding on out of here later bitches rest here real quick get the get the horde off of me church of love uh, I now have a functioning fridge again installed in my house after a while without a fridge you it's like something so fucking simple a fridge right Something so fucking simple. You go a while without one. Without a functioning fridge. And then you get one back and you're just like, wow, I fucking missed that. Yeah, like, holy shit, that's, that's a fun, that's a fun little additive. What was I gonna do? Right, retest. So this is now plus one. Let me go see what it would look like at plus two. Let's 
So plus two, make it 74 and plus 11. So the great knife is better. Damage wise, it is better. Scaling wise, it is better. Um, and I'm pro like, just to be honest, like, I'm probably not going to be fucking pumping faith that much. Well, yeah, probably not. I don't know. I, I guess I'll see. But yeah, right now I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it with the uh, the Redovi and the the Great Knife. Okay. Obviously, keep the Earth Steel just because I'm not. I will never get rid of any knives or short bows, obviously, or long shields. But it's just like you know. Yo, homie. Being able to craft arrows will be a necessity, in my opinion. I'll come back. Okay. Off to kill a dude. Oh wait, it's gotta be uh, it's gonna be ninety night 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 time. Dark goat. There he is. You just look, I don't know why they just, you guys look so stupid to me. Like not like stupid, like uncool. Like the first time I saw them, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? But it's just like, I don't know why. It's just like seeing a cat, seeing this dude casually stroll up. It's just fucking funny to me. Always has been. What's up, homie? How's it do? Hola, homie. <laughs> there you go, I sneezed. That's in my bed. My fault. I underestimated him. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a poor decision on my bit. That's not my fault. That is also my fault. Yep. Okay. Please. What? Okay. I've never seen him hit like that. Normally, if you just move out of the way a little bit, just move out of the way a little bit, he doesn't hit you. But, alright. Never seen him swing. Normally it's just a. Okay, this is the part of Night's Gallery that pisses me the fuck off. You have to go rest at a campfire every single fucking time. You want to fight him? It's not a lot, but it pisses a man. It 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 tends to piss a dude off quite a lot. What is up, home dog? I am back for my revenge. <laughs> I missed. What? Like, I'm probably going to be using Reduvia for the vast majority of the game just because. Bleed's nasty in this game. Like, seriously nasty. Just let me live. Like, bleed is seriously just a nasty thing in this game. And because of that, I'm probably going to be using Redovi the most of the game. No, no. Okay, yeah. Bleed is just seriously nasty in this game. Because of that, I'm probably going to be using the Redoobie the vast majority of the game. But, I'm going to try mixing it. Like, I'm not I'm not just going to do one or the other. 
Yeah. I'm not just gonna do like just a Reduvia thing. I'm probably gonna mix it with like like I know there's a magic knife at some point. That's the only other knife I know where it is. Like I know where this Erd Steel one was. Obviously Reduvia. And then obviously you just get the uh, the great knife. Right at the beginning. But I do know where one more is, and it's in the Lyurnia tunnels, like cave mines. That one's very easy to get, r relatively, like if you're that level of the game, it's pretty easy to get, it's just in a chest. Semi deep into the mines, all right. Semi deep into the mines. So it's, it's generally pretty easy to get your hands on. Just go in there, hell, you could literally run past everything and just get it. And I missed. Yeah, that's. I don't know why I thought I was gonna hit that. I have not got a bleed frog from this guy, man. Ow. That hurt. Ah, that makes fucking sense. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, sure. Yep. Okay. The fuck just happened there, dude? This makes sense. Fucking. Fucking shitting me right now. Game's hitboxes are a little janky sometimes. <sighs> Just trying to think that my bleed brock never activated on him. Ever. Just trying to think of why. Like, what, like does it run out? For, fucking thank you. That's so nice. trying to think did it run out oh, I missed that I missed that too dude what is going on man what are we doing thank you Jesus I'm trying to get the blue product but it's just not not doing. I, I miss half the shots because my my guy is like autistic. What are we doing? I just didn't have the range, but like Hmm. Mm-hmm. Do not mm, I swear to fucking god. I I would have hurt something or somebody if I died there because of that bullshit. What? You were like 12 feet away from me. Because half the hits aren't even hitting him. They're hitting the goddamn horse. And then of course that hit always gets me. Yeah. Excuse. Where? There you go. The bleep proc on the horse. I can't. This guy. I have no range against these horse enemies, bro. I have no range. You know what? I can't. What? What's happening? Yep. Mm-hmm. 
then switch the fucking ammunition. Okay, I'm having a... I'm literally having an existential crisis. Middle, mid-fucking fight. Are you shitting me right now? Oh my god, hit. Hit. This is a shit show. Dodged it. It's cool. I enjoyed that. Dude, this is why I hate fucking mounted enemies. I hate them. Like, I get the idea. The idea is cool. But they're just annoying. I get the idea of a mounted enemy. But they're just fucking annoying. Get the idea of a mounted enemy. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea, right? But then they just end up being fucking impeccably fucking annoying. There's no rhyme or reason to them being even thought of. There's no fucking point of them existing. Yeah, I'm just gonna try going to fucking guns blazing. Because that's, that's the best I can think of. Fucking come on, please stop fucking with me. Fucking retarded game. Jesus Christ. This game pisses me off more than any other fucking game I've played. Other than Dark Souls 2. love when my dodge button doesn't work do you you know do you do you see it the game does the game even recognize it exists or is that a nah and it obviously that never hits because the hitboxes of the horse characters are significantly different also retarded like they can hit every shot they want to on me but i can't hit a goddamn shot on them once Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so you just come up with different... I, that's literally a new move. I've never seen him do that before. They're making up moves to make my day worse. Do the thing, do it. See, and then you can just do that too. I swear to God, it's that fucking move, dude. I swear to God, it's that fucking move. Before a fight, just play Elden Ring for 20 minutes. Go up against a fucking mounted enemy. You'll win that fight. You will feel the anger of every fucking Greek god in your veins. If you think it's funny, if you think it's a joke, play fucking Elden Ring. Because obviously you haven't, if you don't understand that. Anyone who's played Elden Ring is like, I know exactly what he's talking about right now. Don't be that fucking guy who's like, oh no, no, no I have perfect control over my emotions. Oh no, 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 totally. I, I can totally play a game without a fucking... Uh, shut the fuck up. We all know that you've broken... At the minimum, five controllers, if you're saying that. You are lying to yourself. Also, I just want to point out real quick, I've never broken a controller to this game. I have at least that much self-control. But, 
doesn't go much further. Now we're going to try out the Erdtree Avatar, which allows summons. So I'm probably going to be alright. Oh, so I, I've got his kind of moveset down. I mean, I have the fucking Knight's Cavalry down, but when you get onto a no, new build, everything's different. The amount of damage you do is different, your range, everything. How you play is different. You gotta under I gotta understand that, because, like, in all the previous games, I say all, I've really only played Dark Souls 2, right, I've played some of the other games, like, I played Bloodborne once, I played Dark Souls 3 once, never played Dark Souls 1, or Demon Souls, or Sekiro, nor do I really want to play Sekiro, personally, but... Dark Souls 2 is the one I really, is the only one I own, other than Elden Ring. The others I played just at a friend's house. Um, but, it's like, I've always been, I've always chosen strength builds over anything else. Are you fucking shitting me? Kill him. Kill him. Kill him now. You know, there's one time I died to a freaking Erdtree avatar because of one of those little shits. Yeah. I wasn't happy. Alright, let's go. Yep. Shoop. Shoop. run oh you just goomba stomped you bro just like back on the n64 bro yep. key thing about that because i've gotten very unhappy over that and dying multiple times not of this this one's kind of easy you just kind of ship 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 watch out for that didn't miss there I, I would have gotten hit but it's like that goomba stomp attack that freaking ground pound oh my fucking god thank you even he was pissed off he was like motherfucker you stole my kill Rats. Rodents. Anyways. Um, yeah, that Goomba Stomp attack. Always dodge like a split second before he actually does it. Because I did it. As he touches the ground, it kills you before you can dodge. It's always like right before it. Like, I mean right before it. You don't want to do too early because then you just land it anyways. Or, or just don't go near it. Right? Just run away. That's also a very viable option. Right, he's about to goom stop you guys. Really just want to get that bleed proc while the dogs are still out. Please don't hurt me. Alright. Well, the dogs are still out to stray and they're all dead. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, for some reason, could not dodge quick enough. I'm just gonna try to get over here. Yep. 
I can't... Okay, yeah, yeah, I can't dodge either. That's nice. One thing about the knives that I'm not liking so far... The fact that once you're in that long chain of attacks, there is no getting out of it. You're in it for the long haul. Oh, fuck you for that. Oh my god, I rolled right into the freaking attack. That's totally on me. Ah, oh, somehow that pisses me off more. <sighs> My cat is not amused. You will find her on most streams. She always just kind of goes in there, hangs out on the, the numerous shit that's on my bed. I'm beating this guy. I'm not leaving. This game is going to be a bitch just using knives. I just want to point that out. There's a reason Reduvia is like known as the best knife. It's because it's the only one with ranged. The only one that I know of. Because, again, I don't know that many knives, actually. Now that I'm thinking about that, because there's, like, a blue one. The one I was talking about in Liarnia, it's, like, blue. Literally blue. Please just let me get the blue block. Ah! Alright. Hmm, okay. Yep. No <laughs> uh oh. He has a lot of time in which he just stops moving after that little Goomba stomp. Okay, yeah, my wolves are dead. Okay, those are literally already dead. Oh, 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 oh. I, I thought they were all going for the wolf. Alright. Breathe and recharge. Now I'm okay with those attacks. I'm okay with those attacks. Nope. Alright, here we go. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Oh, alright, alright. I'm cool with that. Now I can just propel these into you. There you go. I don't know. Oh, oh. Ooh, I'm so clean missed. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, that was poor decision. That was poor decision making on my bit. I can't do anything else with this. I'm just gonna have to go in for the long haul on the inside. Ah, oh, yes. His hitbox is really shitty. Let me just. Right. You really just gotta get kind of like this. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Ooh, I'm alive. All right, all right. It was a shitty dodge on my part, I will admit. Oh, it's too easy. First try, you know? First try. <laughs> it's just how we do it around here, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know. Hey, look at that. See, that's why I'm a pro at this game. So I got the Opaline Bubble Tier, always go to that one. Opaline Bubble Tier, in my opinion, will always be in my Wondrous Physic. Always.
Oh, right. Beat the rest of this island. Now that I'm thinking about it, though. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> here, I'll get the map for this place and then just leave. Because I really don't want to be here. No. Level up. Here you go. Dexterity. No, faith. 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 I'm actually gonna buy some cookbooks. Do you have any? You do not. You do have smithing stones though, and I do need those. Alright. I don't think I can get any cookbooks with 487. I think I need 500 for some of them. I was about to say if I had any golden runes, I'd just use those. Taught me off. Uh... Nope. Oh, took out a tree. Not surprising though. It was arrow is probably way more than 50 of me. <sighs> no, we're not level up. Uh, why? What? Rep? Rep? Oh. Rep. Church of Allah. Gotta go back to the Church of Allah. Okay, so I have to go back to... I'm sorry, my, my brain just fucking short-circuited again. Church of Allah. Crafting kit... Wait, no, not crafting kit. Uh, these, yeah, the cheapest one is 500. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook? One and two, missionaries cookbook, cookbook. why we get the lantern and the torch which I didn't put on I, I could probably go kill those things down there I think I'm gonna get off this build.
just for now. I said I was gonna switch between builds. I don't give a shit. I'll get bored. <sighs> All right, what do I wanna do now? I think I'm gonna play this build. I haven't played this build in a freaking long time. You don't understand how long it took me to grind this fucking sword. I gained the the legs, the gauntlets, and the helmet, and I think the chest. I think I got the whole set. No, I did not. No, I did not. I got one of the gauntlets three of the legs one of the helmets before getting the sword yeah this is my great shield one well yeah this one and the halberd one I haven't played this in a while actually shoot, shoot. is this all I got oh jesus hold up All right, let's roll. I just wanna see what my damage is at, what it's looking like. Ooh, I only got Flamgrammy Strength, huh? Can't use that yet. Need 36 Strength for that, I have 30. I even have Ruddy Gun. Right, the freaking, the guard counters in this game, dude. If you if you're not using a guard counter, you are missing out. What do I have on this? Just the basic sweep up. Alright, alright. Understandable, understandable. No. <laughs> Rattle and bones. There you go. Motherfucker, shh, boom. Motherfucker, shh, boom. <laughs> Just knock him over. No. Please don't hurt me. The Banished Knight Greatsword is basically just the Knight's Greatsword, but better. Like, I remember how long I grinded for the Knight's Greatsword. Yeah, the Knight's Greatsword. And I'm like, yo, this is awesome. Made a plus three. And then I'm, and then I found the Banished Knight, and I'm like, Man, your sword's probably better, isn't it? It's definitely cooler looking. So I grinded for it, and it is better. It's literally the same thing, same move, same, same everything. But uh, you know, just better. Just, which is kind of funny actually, just to be honest. got this really cool kind of motion it's like a swinging motion not just bam boom bop it's just kind of like a little bit more fluent I have exactly enough to summon this guy forgot about that ow oh because I was out of fucking stamina that makes sense Ow. Hello. See, this is why I have so many strength builds. Because what I was saying earlier is that, like, I've always played strength builds in these games. I just find them fun. Like, I'm... I just like strength builds, to be honest with you. Rather than the fast... 
more i'm not gonna say technique but i'm gonna say technique is the best word i got for like a better term like technique focused builds oh yeah there you go like you all there's a different it's just a different way of playing like there's a technique to strength builds too because it's like you're so slow you gotta know when to place your attacks speed builds you more wiggle room with that part but you're also doing significantly less damage so you gotta be more aggressive you gotta be faster you have to have faster reaction time it's this different way of playing way of playing i've really not experienced so this, like this is literally the first game. dark souls 2 i used ultra great swords and that's it i'm dead serious it was ultra great swords never beat that game actually i might go ahead and go back and play it at some point but still ultra great swords that was my thing right this game that's kind of how i started to deleted that first build that i played on though so don't know why but i did but it's like um hello sir I don't care. Give me the lantern. What is my thing? My thing's like plus two. Take these from you. Alright, let's roll. God, this place is spooky. Spooky. That is the beauty of guard counters. An insane amount of stagger. Like, the bigger the weapon, obviously, the more stagger you're gonna get, but regardless of what weapon you're gonna use, you're gonna get more than normal stagger. Well, from the distance, there is. Uh, I never beat that Crucible Knight, did I? See, this is like a Crucible Knight build. Like, that's the whole point of this build. Here, I'll, I'll get the this uh, the grass over here, the site of grass. Oh no, please no! I don't want any. I really don't want any. Please stay away from me. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a rune bear. I'm like looking up that. Like, what is that? My first thought was Malekith, and I'm like, sir, you're in the wrong place. I'm like playing Elden Ring randomizer. I need to play that. That'd be a funny little thing funny little series <sighs> I'm just terrible at skips so I don't even think I could oh hello lobster I don't want, hey man, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble, alright homie? There you go. Man, look at all the sparkles flying around. I always thought it was so cool. I mean, it does remind me of the, mold, the black mold in my basement from about a year ago. But other than that, you know, it looks pretty cool, man. You know, walk downstairs in my basement, you see the same thing. A little glowing part of it's flying around. You're like, huh. Radiated mold. <laughs> You know? Yeah, I did. I do think I saw this in Fallout too. Right. Not exactly. The bonfire's in this direction. Yes, I think so. Maybe. Am I stupid? Shit, am I stupid? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I think I dumb dumb. Oh no, I'm going the right way. Yeah. Your cool ass stick there, homie. What is that? I don't know. I'm not here to find out though. Just personally. Shoop. 
I always found those guys so freaking funny, dude. There you go. Got my little brother to play this game. He freaking loved it. Like, did he get pissed off? Yeah. But, like, that's everyone, right? And it's just like, it was, it was fun watching him play, because it's just like... Hold on, my dog's having a fucking connection over there. Be right back, homies. Back. Just my brother coming in. All right, and back. Where are we going? have a moment where are we going right here right and yep no crab fuck off crab oh okay here here we up ah no no oh and grab that grab grab that Gra grab grab the fucking oh my god oh my fucking god I'm just trying to grab the item. It's useless. Okay, uh, we're jumping. Oh, oh! It hit my horse instead of me. <gasps> I'm alive. Shit, alive. I'm breathing. Uh, what, what was that I forgot to put? Oh, 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 hello. Um, I was gonna do something. What the fuck was I gonna do? It's like I forgot to kill this guy or something. Um. Oh, the Crucible Knight. Right. Right. Forgot about that bit. Alright. I'll try it once, see where I'm standing. Where, uh, where we're standing here.
temporarily. Now that I'm thinking about it. Shoop. Yeah. I do have two golden seeds. Yeah. Alright. Is that item over here? Oh. Okay. Cool. Cool. Alright. All right. Always one fruit fly is kind of flying around my room. Nope, it didn't happen. But uh, there's always just one hanging around, and it's always kind of annoying. We in four four four. Let's hope that's good luck or something. It's not bad luck or something like that. All right. Shh. <laughs> Big strong. Get as many guard counters in as possible. Oh yeah, no, 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 that is not that is, that's not happening. Yep. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Thank you for the slight delay. Really, really throw me off. Thank you. Thank you. Good play. Good play. Yep. Uh, why? Why? Why do you need to be a cuck? You're acting very fucking mischievous today. That did not work. It seems it did not work. Mm hmm. Ouchies. Yeah. It seems your boy is cocked. Oh! Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Uh, I am not doing well. Hold on. three levels away i was thinking that i could go, go whew, i was thinking that i could go get blood flame bl blade but then i looked i only have seven arcane i need 10 for it yep we're not doing that ever go pairing oh pairing That's very true. Do I have a shield with parry on it? I do. <laughs> uh, I might need to get a small shield after this, though, just to be fair. Sure. Alright. I did very good at it. I am not good at parrying. That's... I think I might need a smaller shield. Just for simplicity's sake. I... Mm.
I suck at this myth. I think I might need to learn to parry with this guy though. Like, just to be honest. Yeah, here, I'm gonna get a small shield like the buckler or something. Because if I'm not wrong, they are better at parrying. If I'm not wrong, they're like, they have more of a window or something. So. And I have seen this fight with someone just parrying the shit out of him. It's funny, because he just can't do anything. But they also have a small shield, which is normally what you're supposed to use with it, but, you know. I think they have a buckler here, maybe, maybe possibly, I also want to sell some stuff so I can upgrade my weapon, offer bell bearing, none to offer, coolio, no, oh they sell rune arcs here, oh I'm dumb, alright, on my other playthrough I was trying to find rune arcs, I'm like, because I just figured, like, just now figured out how to use those great runes. Like, I always got them, and I'm like, what do I use these for? And then I learned how to apply, and I'm like, oh, so that's what that square's been for all along, in the top left. And, um, that little section, and I'm like, I never knew what it was. Now I do. Now I feel stupid, too. And then I had it on, and I'm like, huh, none of my attributes are being raised. And then my friend was like, oh, you need to use a great or a rune arc. And I'm like, how long should I have known this? And he goes, dude, I figured this out a few days in to the game. And I'm like, brother. Mind you, me and this, me, it was me and RJ talking. And we got it the same day, generally. He got it a day after me. Oof. <coughs> what the fuck? I just fucking hiccuped. And my stomach just reverberated back, like cramped up. God damn, this G feels doing something to me, man. Uh, actually, about Rider Riku, because I want to level up my boy. Probably never gonna use this, so selling that. Oh, this is from the uh, the grind for the Knight's Great Sword, yeah. The only rule I have about selling and not selling things on builds is that I can't sell whatever I'm doing on that build. So it's like I can't, like if it's a Halberd build, I can't sell Halberds. If it's a Great Sword build like this one, I can't sell that. Whatever I'm using, I can't sell anything. Even if it's a worse version, can't sell it. Might as well keep it, you know. Just did some mental math on it, whether I'm using this. I am not. Why? Currently equipped it. On what? I don't know. See, like, these are medium shields. I'm not using this. Oh, it's currently equipped. Okay. Torch. Yeah, keep that. Nah, I don't get rid of armor really either. That's a lot of pants. Or talismans, even if it's not even close to related to me, you only find those once, man. Yeah, strength and armor. Oh, I need more smithing. So one. Fucking god. Um. All right, on the hunt for a buckler of some sort. Church of Allah, maybe a. Merchant Christmas can uh give me something. Samta. Nope. The guy down here possibly. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I remember like we were just here earlier in the stream, so I think possibly buying or selling. A 
Let's go see the parry ability on this thing. Parrying on the loading screen. It's like this game knows my struggles. Because I'm using a buckler on the knife build, obviously. And that obviously gives me good parrying, but... thing about this you don't put it in the sheath like even if it's just i wish this game worked like, like if you put this away the sheath goes away as well i wish personally so if you do that then it goes into the sheath but i wish if you just had it equipped but not out equip but not out then it went to the sheath still but if you just put it away it just disappears which is kind of weird and annoying but like imagine if you had like three heavy weapons in like like on you you just had these three massive weapons two swords on your waists like that'd be badass dude all right yes but i have an itch give me a moment <sighs> hold on i'm taking the sweatshirt off dude Destroy it out. See how this goes. See how this shit goes. I should have probably done this first. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't equip it, did I? I did not. Yep, that's exactly what I get. That's exactly what happens. That's exactly what happens. Yep. Set of Greece, or Stake America. <sighs> Almost got it. Mini shield, tiny shield. These, I'm pretty sure small shields have a higher window for parrying. Like they just parry better. Pretty sure, pretty sure. I'm not totally sure. Ah, uh, you see, that was just really bad. Ah, uh, you see, that was also just really terrible. Primarily, I just suck at this game, so it's like... Better at dodging than anything else. I had a moment of... Stupidity there. Oh! I figured! <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know, that happens. I figured out the formula, boys. Sort of, hopefully. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Ow! If I can keep this up, I just win. Yeah, ow. Dude. 
allow me to do the dodge. Alright, that's not really like a thing I can really do very well. I also parry like shit. I forget these things. I'm just not good at these things. <laughs> I'm half decent at dodging. Fucking terrible parrying. trial and error just keep trying at it what worries me isn't really his first phase what worries me is his second phase that's that's really what worries me i can always dodge around uh the big flying attacks because truthfully those aren't that hard to dodge those slow and like high region they're not that hard but i just need to learn how to parry first like that Mm, thank you. Thank you. I I hate that. That great sword though, that is that is what my main goal is to blow up. And I act like I don't know nobody. I remember that video. Maybe I need a sword with better Ow! Okay. That's now that was shitty. I need a weapon with more counter damage, more parry damage, because right now my parry damage is terrible. Does it tell me the parry damage? Or... Oh, critical. Okay. This has better critical damage. Let's see if it does more damage. Damage itself wise, it's not that much worse. So I would like to see. Okay, let's check this out. Roll up. Come on. Dad. Mm. What? Alright, that was crap. That's bullshit. Definitely doing a little bit more damage. 230, I was getting like 170 or something like that. Possibly a little bit more damage. I fucked up both times. He hit me. He tried twice. Well, he hit me two times. He, he hit me both times. He certainly got me both times. That attack is lethal because he does not wait for you to get back up. Ever. That shield attack does not wait for you to get back up. Hmm. Speaking of not waiting. Dude, I always fucking roll too early, dude. There you go. Boom. I just gotta get better at parrying. Like, what, once you're superb at parrying, most of the game becomes much easier. Depending on the weapon you're using. Knives, it's essential to learn parrying in my opinion. Unless you're like just going full Reduvia, then it's a cakewalk either way. 
but... Ah! I never used this one! We're just gonna... Pop Perky. Oh, I dodged way too early! Oh! The only reason I survived that... Mm, okay. I didn't pop a fucking blood vessel, but... The only reason I started that before was because the freaking bubble. <sighs> bubble. Here, I'm going to get this and just go get the... Uh, go level it up a little bit because I think I have a few... Four stones. Okay. I can level up maybe one more time. Ah. There we go. Oh, can I go in there? Hey. Hey, friend. Yeah. Just kind of... Don't mind me. Alright. That was a dog. Huh. Have I ever told you how much I hate wolves in this game? They're like one of the most annoying creatures I've ever fought. But there are obviously enemies in here. Oh. Any more hiding around the bend? Not that I can see it. I've never actually been up here. What's in here? Arrows reach talisman. Oh! Increases bow effective range. That's actually really nice. Not that I'm using it on this build, but it's definitely good to know for other builds because it's super easy to get, too. It's just like kill three dudes and a wolf and you got it. Yeah, probably like my knife build, Viking build, few build, whatever I'm using ranged weapons on. Right. Your boy's going to the round table. I'm gonna level this sword up as much as I can. Shut up. Your boy is trying to get an upgrade, not getting a conversation. Alright, so it's now plus two. Okay. Back to it then. Like, again, once I get into this whole parrying thing, like, a lot better, like, it'll become easier. This is the best critical damage weapon I have, though, so. You know. I, I might have to cheese it for this one. Like, I might just have to go get a better critical damage weapon. I might do that. Just go to the round table. Okay, next time I die, I'll go to the round table hold. Just buy the best critical damage weapon they got. Use this Rust group chat, man. It's like four people. Me, RJ, and these other two guys, right? We're getting raided again. I am never going on that server again, bro. I don't care. But he's texting it to the others, really. I just, I don't... I don't play a lot of Rust, and if I do, I play with people that, like, I actually want to play with. And, uh... Tell you what, these people ain't it. They ain't it, homie. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Is it me? Is it really, really going to me? Like, do I smell that terrible? Or maybe I smell that good. Maybe, maybe, maybe that, that, that's gotta be it, right? <sighs> Jesus. Oh, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. That's not how I wanted to start this. Okay, does a little bit more damage. By a little bit, I just mean the numbers. It doesn't visually appear like it's doing that much more. Okay, no, it is definitely visually appearing more. Definitely getting a little bit better at it as well.
This is definitely a strat for this guy. But... Again, if I die this time, which there's definitely a chance in the second phase. Yeah, okay, there's the first hit. There you go. Yeah, that did not work. Oh, here we go. Alright. Oh! Oh, fuck. I ain't good. Okay, thank you for snapping me back to reality there. I just got severely worse at parrying. Maybe the parry window got smaller. Like, I mean, literally got sm- Like, maybe he just got tougher. Literally tougher. No, no, really. Again, the critical damage on this isn't, like, it's not amazing. They're not really built specifically for critical. Unlike something like a knife, which might have significantly more critical damage. Because it's built for parrying. More so, at least, than these great swords. Ah. Uh. Just... <sighs> I saw my life flash before my very eyes there, I'm going to be honest. Oh, that was nice. was in the range to be able to parry that oh, oh. oh okay Heal. yeah not doing anything with that oh oh I fucked it up oh I fucked up big time yeah okay at least I know I can most certainly do it like, I'm much better pairing than I was 15 minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm getting the hang of it. Right? I'm definitely getting the hang of it. I've had a little bit of practice. Okay? I've had a little bit of practice for my knives. My knife build. Playthrough. <sighs> definitely getting better. Noticeably. Ah. Oh, my timing's it's pretty much there. I just need to get better at my placement. All right, let's see if they have like I don't I don't know the difference. Like I don't know if it depends on the size of the weapon. I don't know. Because like knives do a crazy amount of critical damage, but I. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll check. Okay, so. Nagger. 130 critical. Straight sword. 100. 134. Yeah. For stabby, stabby weapon, you get more critical. That would make sense. Thrusting swords are very interesting to me personally. I, I think they're very, very cool. I already have an idea for a heavy thrusting sword build. I just I just build it like the Godskin Apostle. Um, or the Godskin Noble, I mean. Uh, Godskin Noble. Uh, Alright, anyways, so. I'll get the rapier. So 
roll back up on the uh, the Crucible Knight. See how that goes. This is an adventure, man. Okay, does more critical. Does 20 more critical. Does 20 more critical damage than the greatsword. But it does pretty decently amount of less damage overall. Like it's like 50, 60 less damage. So we'll see how this goes. Um before we were doing anywhere from 200 or like 180 or 95 to like 250 ish like 247 but I'm just rounding up to like 250 I already have my runs yeah how that would fit never mind I'm a little slow sometimes but let's see how this goes all right let's just Whoop. The reason I'm so fucking prudent on getting this is because he has something I need. 231, about the same. A little less than before. Okay. Alright. It's not a pretty decent amount of damage, if I'm gonna be honest. decent amount of damage if I upgrade it so it's like your damage definitely has part of the way to do with it oh fuck it's consistently staying over 190 like 193 and above like it's consistently staying at that level so I think it's just a better critical rating. I don't think that's critical damage. I think that's critical rating, possibly. Like how high that will be, depending on how much damage the weapon already does. Oh, okay, we're already phase two. Bam. Okay, boom. Also a little bit of a faster weapon, I'd say. Maybe that has something to do with it as well. Seems like parrying and thrusting swords may have a very snappy combination. I might have to, whenever I do a thrusting sword build, I think I might have to include parrying into it a very fair amount. Ow. Can't be thinking about other builds right now, though. Please leave me alone. I just want to be happy. Oh. What was that I mean? It was like Doge meme or something like that? It was like, I just want to be happy. Okay, we're getting there. Parrying is definitely this guy's bane, but you still can't be too too light on this guy. You gotta actually be good at parrying and then keep it up without getting fucked. Because as soon as you get hit, like say goodbye to your life force. Like that's basically just how this thing goes. Oh yeah, can't do much against that. Alright, here we go. Ooh, we're getting there. Alright, come on, we're getting close. Proof line. <laughs> Don't fuck this up for me. One or two more. That second tailwind is fucking insane. Oh, be gone, what? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what it's all about. Ooh. 
Ah, alô. É. <risos> Sabe o que é? I went, so I didn't really need it, the, uh, the thrusting sword, but hey, it was fun. I liked it. I mean, I'll definitely, whenever I do a thrusting sword build, hey, I'm using, I'm parrying with that shit, because that does a fucking lot of parry damage. So just imagine you get a good thrusting sword and a good parry shield, because I know different, uh, small shields can do different things. That's what I know. I don't know what kind of things. I've just heard stories. Cool. So, okay. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, because I don't have the, the Thickums shield on. I don't have the Thicks. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm not overweight. What? Alright, if I put this on. Literally no pants would work with it. All right, no bite. All right, I guess we just uh, just don't wear those. Hey, actually, hold up. What if I wear like Godric Soldier and change out my gloves for like Godric Soldier, Godric Soldier, <laughs> Godric Soldier? <laughs> yeah. Um, I like this helmet though. This helmet is. Very fairly badass. Eh, it looks special, but you know what? I have a pretty fair amount of damage resistance. Here, I'll put on foot soldier. Maybe a little bad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I just didn't wear gloves. Alright. Can I level up? I gotta, I gotta sacrifice my, uh, there you go. Cool. Alright, I now can use... I think I'm gonna go to the crystal mines. Ow! My tumblies are rumbly! I did uh, abs yesterday, and uh, not like a crazy amount, like 50 odd push or setups, 50 odd setups, right? So it's not like an insane amount. I woke up this morning, I went to go for a stretch, and I'm like, oh, it's like this is fine, and then I'll lift my arms up, and then it starts hurting. But that's just that's just average soreness. That's just how that works. That's just how that goes. Two things, two, literally do these two things, in my opinion, this is not for everyone, but like, the two things I do, now, I don't have a six pack, but just doing these two things has made my abs develop so well in like a month, like seriously, it's been like a month and a half, month, month and a half, I was doing just sit-ups for the longest time, and I'm like, I mean, it still looks like, sit-ups, in my opinion, do like high set setups. Not high set isn't set. I mean high set like the benches. Your 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 head's further down, your knees are further up. Uh, if you're doing it on like a, if you're just doing normal setups, you know whatever doesn't matter. Um, and doing that really works. Like my upper abs from what i've found or like i found that it works my lower abs but if you do like that for lower abs and then same position just crunches though and flexing your upper abs upper and lower right there if you want to get even more into it go just a bar a pull-up bar whatever hang on to it and then tuck, like, raise up your legs, obviously, just leg raises. Hold them for, like, five seconds, lower, just keep doing that. Dude, 
lower abs easily between that and setups easily just doing crunches and then instead of raising your legs out tucking your legs in and like crunching up on the pull-up bar upper abs easy. do those four things fucking abs abs it's insane like do they hurt in my opinion everyone's like oh i fucking hate leg day shut up do ab day all right i hate ab day it's like the worst part of my week it really is the worst part of my week i hate abs but they are the best looking thing which is ironic best looking thing on a person is probably abs or at least that's the thing that everyone sees right if you have big arms but you have like a belly everyone's like oh he's fat right it's just in my opinion that's not true I mean even if you are fat like a uh, friend of mine Eric he's a big dude strong as hell good bit stronger than me also a good bit bigger than me tall wise but I don't know I'm on one of those rants again all right, memorize spell A hey, twenty-seven faith. Oh, great heavens! All right, so I need twenty-seven faith for that. So not for a while, but crucible tail. That is what I get. The whole point of this build is to use crucible uh, incantations. Like that's it, just crucible incantations. It's a faith strength build. Right, so you use Ordovis's great sword, obviously the Crucible Knight armor, you know, and just the aspects of the Crucible incantations, which I think there's three, something like that. I don't remember what, but each Crucible Knight will normally give you something. So, and obviously the Horn Great Shield, which is one that they use too. So, anyways, what's my face at? 15. Did I kill the dragon yet? Oh, I did. I definitely did. I just want to go to make sure. But I'm level like 50. So I'm guessing that I did. I did. Uh, Alright. Hey, I mean, I guess it's just going to be a little bit until I can get that. Or be able to use it. Okay. First objective here. Go to the mines little butthole in the ground over here go there because I want to get the bell bearing for stones one and two use whatever I ru runes I get from that to level up my weapons as far as I can like get them to plus six if I can oh god I have to level up my strength to 36 and my faith to 27 this is the part of the game that is always... it's like you're, you're still trying to meet the requirements for all your shit but, I mean, I am supposed to be leveling Faith and stuff anyways. So, faith and Strength, this is a Faith Strength build, so I kind of expected this. Uh, um. What's it on here? I haven't had many magic builds, so I've never found a real reason to explore Lyernia. Uh But now that I have, it's in my portal. Where are we going? Where are we going, boys? Yo, is this? Oh, no way. I know where I am. I know exactly where I am. I know exactly where I am. Hold up. Speaking of, I don't even care about this area. Scooch. Those guys are annoying. They disappear all the time. I know exactly where I am. Ship. Hey, hey, my friendly giant, the BFG. The BFG. That's also where you start uh, Ronnie's quest line, I'm pretty sure. I have not actually done it yet, that's why I say I'm pretty sure. That's just, she's in Lyernia somewhere, and I'm guessing it's the big fucking castle, so. 
the only other big pine cone. Hold up. Sir, sir, I'm gonna need you to give me a moment. Uh, moan it. My volume's so turned down. Wait, where is my... Oh, sound and display. Music, don't need it. Sound effects. Yeah, voices. I want that. The voices in my head. <laughs> Alright. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are tarnished. What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. All right. Yeah, this guy's like just a really old sentient troll. Like, like not sentient, but like, like all animals are sentient. But it's like this guy like thinks for himself. Like he actually is like. Now I think they, personally, I think they all were, at one point. That's my theory. I don't know, but that's my theory. That they all were sentient at one point, and like just much larger people there were there were trolls they're a different race but in my opinion i think that they were all like this and then they started to like almost rot away almost like ghouls from fallout like everyone kind of lost their minds so i'm guessing it's something like that i don't know though Purchase, I can purchase smith, uh, somber. I don't need somber smithing stones yet. Strength and armor. Uh, I can't do that either. Please take oh, care. Watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. Brave tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Karian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rhea Lucari Academy turned on the Karians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Karians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned and they repelled the knight's onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the cuckoo. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare that remains at the royal carrion manor Whatever you do, Brave Tarnished, stay away from that death trap. That's exactly what I'm going to do, but probably not on this character. Just... Oh, Jesus Christ! Dude, I barely entered the territory. You're lying right outside the outskirts? What if you like? Sh what if you're going to sleep one day? You roll over this. Meow. What? What was that noise? Ah! Just like you get fucking obliterated. Like, <laughs> it's terrifying. Anyways. Okay. Level up. Cannot. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. I've only seen this guy like once or twice. I, I really haven't seen this guy very much. Um, he's a very nice dude. Like, he's just a nice old guy. Old smiths. You can also buy smithing stones from him, which is awesome. Very convenient. Where am I going? There you go. 
You can buy smithing stuff now. That's like the most convenient shit ever. Well, it's only up to uh, it's like one through four, but still, you can buy infinite of one and two too, and only a few of three and four. But you only need one for uh, a unique weapon like that, so it doesn't matter too much. I like that you can get the bell bearings in this game and just buy infinite of whatever smithing stone or somber smithing stone or even the grave uh, flowers. Uh, but I like the ghost flowers and the grave flowers. Um, I like that because I remember in like Dark Souls 2, which is one I've played a lot, I'd always be like struggling to find, like I'd level up a one weapon super well, find a new weapon I really liked. And then wouldn't be able to find all the materials necessary to upgrade it to where I'd want it to be. And that always sucked. But, you know. In this game, you can just find the belt bearings. I didn't know what belt bearings did for a while. And then I was like, oh, Diego. A friend of mine. I was like, Diego. What do I do with this? You know. <laughs> What do I do with this, bruh? What do I do with this thing? Uh, these bell bearings. I got another one. And he goes, oh, turn it into the uh, the shop, bro. At the uh, round table. And I'm like, okay. So I did, and it worked. And I'm like, oh, there's so many of them. Jesus Christ, I forgot how many of them were there were here. I'm going to make you come down, sir. No, I'm not. I can't make this one come down. What? Why can't I? Yep. I can't. There's no, um, thing I'm a boobers. Normally there's like white, like, skulls and shit on the bottom. I don't know. I never just fell over onto me. I just fucking died and just. Ah. We are here. I remember this place being hell, so uh, let's let's uh, take it easy, boys. Ooh, I did not see that before. We're going back to check that out. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go back down again. Oh, do I have a lantern? Did I buy a lantern? I did. Always have a lantern ready. Trust me. It's better than a torch because you can just attach it to your hip. Please, please be hidden. I hate you. What well, sucked? There's nothing there. Oh. Always remember, there's probably ledges in a mine shaft, kind of. There's probably ledges for you to get back down. Up is a different story, but down, you can always get farther down. Not past the elevator shaft, but you know what I mean. Alright. Now that I have a very heavy weapon this time, instead of my scythe, probably fare a little bit better. Gimme. Sound smithing stone two. Let's go. What do I have? So I have I have two and I have four. I'm pretty sure Ordovis is uh Ooh. I don't know. Pretty sure Ordovis is a great sword since it's like a kind of unique kind of thing guessing that it takes somber smithing stones so you know but I, I don't get that for a while I'm just using the best great sword I got um, for right now I'm just using the best great swords I find
Ayo. Ow. Smithing stones, normal ones, very nice. Sir, how are you today? I missed. There you go. Let's do that. All right, all right. There you go. Bam. Yeah, these guys just have incredible poise. I'm pretty sure. It's like always bring a heavy-ish weapon to these places. Well, okay. I lied. You don't have to necessarily. If you have a heavier build, like something using like Colossal or Great Weapons, obviously it would turn out better for you if you, you know, it would just be easier to go through these places, give or take. But what, ooh, there's stuff. What I'm trying to say is that, okay, I hate you. Do not, oh, ow. Dude, I hate these guys. Do not! Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello? Smithing stone three? I'll take that. Take that. I'll take that too. Don't worry, I'll take that off your hands. Do not. See, I like strength builds. Always have my more, more, more my thing. When it comes to non-strength builds, like if you're uh, like using knives, like I did to go through the mines, what I really did was just a lot of parrying. And I say that genuinely. Backstabs and parrying is what's gonna get you through. Because that's the only thing that you can do without being really affected that much. Right? If you attack normally, you're just gonna it's gonna go dink right off right if it's a super light weapon light of the weapon is just gonna dink just gonna ding right off just dink. you'll do damage not a lot but you'll do some damage but it'll just dink off and then you'll get hit because it staggers you for a second but backstabs and parrying like criticals they aren't affected like that so Get fucked, buddy. There you go. Now you can just see this motherfucker rolling up. Just. You just turn around, you just see that. Just. Oh, shit. Here, bitch. No. Yeah. Again, okay, we just use this for a little bit. Ow! No! No! <laughs> Man, we're flying. We're in circles around you. Oh yeah, this is definitely easier than my. Because the last time I came through here, I got a little pressed because I was using my uh, scythe build, my reaper build. And uh, I, I was a little pressed coming through here because it, no, I do, it's good damage. It's very good damage. It's more bleeds, bleed uh, focused build. However, it's, um, I was a little pressed coming through here because it's not as easy to attack these kinds of guys. 
with it. It's not necessarily hard, but if you don't, like, you need to have Blood Flame. I had to have Blood Flame Blade on my weapon, or it would ding off. Reapers don't, like, they're not heavy enough. Because they're dex weapons. Ow. Hello. These guys piss me off the most. Homie, 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 please. Homie, 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 please. Please. Have mercy. Oh, Jesus Christ. That screen is engineered to piss you off. Handmade to piss me off. Just the you died screen. And then you get sent all the way the fuck back here. It's like this dungeon is literally made to piss me off. This cave is made to make me angry. Like really? You get all the way through that and then it just makes you come back? Are you shitting me right now? I don't even really need to go into that room to be honest. That's where the that's where the knife is, that crystal knife I was talking about earlier. That's where it is, but uh, I don't want to go back in there. That's the problem. Oh God, they're following me. All right, yeah, time to uh, time to jump. Huh? What's over here, actually? A whole other art. No shit. Oh. Well, hello, somber. Somber smooth and sun too. Okay. Is that all that was up here, or is there more? Oh shit. Oh no way. I could just skip that whole other area, man. Wait, I just realized you could, hold on, no, no, I think I'm wrong, uh, I think I am, I just dropped down here for nothing, because I will most definitely die, but you can, wait, That's the boss, right down there. Interesting. I'm going up. Oh, it's a little shortcut. It's a little, 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 little bitty, bitty bit of a shortcut. Understood. Good to know. Very good to know, actually. It's convenient. Oop. Ow, ow, thank you. Thank you, but no, I don't want any. That's a nice little shortcut to have, though. Now that that's operational. Thank you. Thank you so much. Literally making my day worse every single time I come down here. Now that I'm past that point, just literally run past all this. I, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go home. I just want to get the boss. I just want to get the bell bearing, man. There's no other reason for me to be here. Just go. Just go. Run. Okay. Yeah, there's the boss. 
Um, here, I'm just gonna use my boy. Hopefully, he'll take out most of her hell or her shields, because that's the main thing. The thing about these boss, the crystallians, I almost said chrysalids, crystallians, crystallians, yeah, crystallians, is that it's their armor. Like, you just have to break, like, you might not see it at first, the first time you go through it, but you'll see them, like, crack at one point. Ow, 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 fucking thank you. Oh, my boy's down. Oh. Okay. Now, you see how she's kind of, like, cracked? Literally. Well, that, that basically means now that her armor's broken. It's armor's broken. I don't, I don't care what it is. I said that once, and they're like, oh, how do you know what's good? I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? It doesn't really matter. But... Once it's broken, like, they're so easy. Especially with this motherfucker on my team. Super easy, though, to beat after you've done that. Because they have no armor. They have, like, zero defense. Still blunt damage. I want to point that out. But blunt damage is still more effective, at least. Once the armor's gone, though, the, um... You can actually... it Nothing dings off of it. Well, almost nothing. So it's like the first kind of area of that fight, really just heavy weapons do a lot of damage to it. As the fight goes on though, you're doing more damage or like you'll, you'll do a lot more damage. So like you could be using a straight sword and still be doing good damage, which is pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool mechanic. One of the cooler bosses, right? Not like they're not easy, but they're not you know, unnecessarily hard, like the mounted bosses. Yeah. That's why I came here, the bell bearing. God damn, my brain does no worky sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, I'm, I'm 245 in, Jesus. Two hours, 45 minutes, man. What have I accomplished? <laughs> Not very much. No, no, yeah, there you go. All right, I gotta do some uh, quick maths on how much I need for this stuff. Cause the best great sword and shield I got are now. That's gonna be a fair little bit to like gain the levels that I need to use. Um, my great shield. Okay, so I have three right now. We just. Do the quick math of six. So. Oh, sweet. Okay, so. Four, ten, sixteen. So, sixteen. Thirteen more ones. Thirteen more level one smithing stones. Thirteen more. Because sixteen would I have three over so let me go by that okay I have enough for it I don't have enough to level it up but I have enough for, had enough for that back over in they run back Costs more to level that up. It's interesting. Okay. And then for two, it would obviously be two, four, six. So. Twenty-four total. Most certainly cannot get twenty-four, so I just stick with what I got. Wait. How many do I already have? I didn't even think about that. I have seven already. So twenty-four minus seven, that's seventeen. Um Okay, so I need 17. Okay, sure. I only need 17 more. Cool, it's actually good to know. Um, Coolio... Uh, 
literally just for some XP, I'm gonna go kill the, um, both of the, I just said XP, for some runes, I'm gonna go kill the Erdtree avatars, there you go, that one and the one over there, 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 so, here, and here. Go to one first. This one's easier than the other one, but they're relatively the same difficulty, in my opinion. Just, they're how, like, because they all attack the exact same. The only thing they change is the damage and the health. So, I'm just saying this one has slightly less health from what I've seen. I'm guessing it does. Slightly less health, but they do relatively the same damage from what I've found. I could be completely wrong, but that's just my findings, my personal findings. I document everything up here, unreliable source, as my history teacher would say. Kill this motherfucker real quick. Not the white mask dude, I mean, he's also kind of annoying and he's definitely useless for this playthrough. This guy is about to spawn in here. I make it a tradition to kill this motherfucker. I was just wandering here, minding my own goddamn business one time. He spawned in and murdered me from behind. I was just trying to get some blood roses. He decided that no, no, you can't have good times. Ow! No one has good days. Come on, I'm gonna guard counter the shit out of you. Oh! Okay, I thought he was about to kill me. Ooh, that does a lot of bleed, though. You're done. You're done. Ah, you're done. Get fucked, buddy. L ratio plus bozo plus Ben. I forget all the rest. I saw some motherfucker. Some motherfucker. I was in a group chat with him. This is a year ago. This is a while back. He fucking. I pointed that out because I don't remember who the fuck they were. But it's a kid from a, my friend's school. They were just. They just went off. They just started saying all these most random shit. Like they went L plus bozo. But I'm immediately like, oh, okay, that's. Okay. You're one of those kids. Uh, who just spams that. And then they just start saying the wackiest shit. They were like, plus slave free, plus Hitler. And I'm like, what are you talking about right now, man? I'm like, bro, this is Minecraft. You gotta chill it out right now, man. The fucking Minecraft server. But, uh, another little monument here. Not monument, but, you know, thing. Thing of a bobber. Oh, wait, smithing stuff. There you go. Wow. Wait, that was three of them? I'm sorry, that took a second for my brain to process. Yo! 14 now. I only need 14 now. Just finding them out in the wild at this point, man. Jesus. I did not mean to do that. I That was a mistake. You. Those guys piss me off. Their spears are cool, though. That is a build that might be a little wonky, because there's obviously spears and great spears. Spears? Spears. Spears and great spears. Um, That'd be an interesting build. I, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with that, to be honest. I might make my spear build sort of like a... Profit, I guess you could say. In a way. I don't know. It's far from now. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I start builds every other day. Like, seriously. I mean, there's so many weapon classes. So there's so much I can do. It's like, if I'm bored of all the builds I have, just look at a different weapon class. I have, what, I have like seven builds right now. Or seven different weapon classes. Like, eight different weapon classes. Because one of them I'm using. Short bows. 
I forgot to summon my boy. Come hither. Ah. Oh, ow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, poop. Gotta, gotta get my 15 bajillion gillion buffs in. Give me a, give me a second. Alright, let's just... Will that do? Oh, he's dead. No! You will pay. You'll pay for that. Come here. Come here, bitch. Oh. Yeah, I will not pay for that. Oh. Can I block this? I can. Not worth it, though. It is definitely worth it. Hold up. Oh, ow. Decided to be chunky today. Oh, I did a little, I did a little flip. Ooh, got him. That's one of the pluses about doing a build with beefy weapons. And this is also why I like um, heavy or strength builds so much is because you can do some really. Fuck off. Oh no no no! What? Why? Why? I wasn't dodging very quickly. Right? At all. Like, I wasn't dodging any of them. I felt... Just didn't feel responsive. Normally you just spam it and you just kinda... You kinda get out of the way. Ah, whatever. I'll figure it out next time. Alright, let's prepare fully this time. Let's get that in. Do that. Do that. And do that. And we up. Let's roll, kitties. Yo. There we go. I thought I missed. That would have been awkward. And the bubble. The bubble helps. The bubble strikes. Attack, bitch. Oh. Humbly fuck off. I need to level that guy up. Because, like, he's a... Again, the, uh, the stagger strength builds. One of the reasons I love doing strength builds so much, because it's so fun. Just personally, I like playing strength builds for that reason. Big boy boss, you don't... You need to do big damage on? Stagger the shit out of them. Oh yeah, I did not get it that time. You see what I mean? Normally I'm fine, but I'm just... I'm trying to think here. Could I upgrade him? I could. I have a ghost. I have one ghost glove wart. Here, I'll try him one more time, but this time I'm just gonna literally take everything off except. Just this shit gives me a medium load. Are you shitting me right now? Christ. How much does this weigh? 10 pounds? Yes, I don't I don't know. Am 
Where's my uh, Steak of America? I don't know. Get my 100 bajillion um, thingamabobbers. Should I go no shield? Here, I think if I die again, I think I'm gonna go no shield. Ow. Alright, here we go. He's getting angry. Oh. Get the, uh, the big boy slap. Shh. I'm just trying to get as many big boy smacks as possible. There you go. Boom. Bam. There you go. That's that's what you really like on start on uh, strength build. All right, so that stomp will always just make me fly back. Like I can't. Oh. There you go. Oh. All right. I just was going to the side too much. I think. Mackums. Uh oh. Literally. Alright. Guard counters do more stagger. Oh! Okay, yeah, I saw that coming. I could not cancel the attack. Oh. Alright, you missed. It's fine. No, please don't do that shit again, dude. Why do you spam that attack in your second phase? Like, it's annoying as shit, dude. Come on, please! Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Ow, she's... No, 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 don't do that attack. It's the last thing I want you to do right now. You just, like... That makes me fly. Makes me mobile. Just there you go. Okay, this will end it off. Yeah. Cheers, homie. Right now, my last ounce. All right, cool. Cerulean crystal tier, ruptured, ruptured crystal tier. I forget what that one does. Okay, so off to that one. Um, no, I'll actually just start here and then warm my way up, gaining a few places on the way. Like going here, I'd like to go there real quick. If you want a few unanswered questions from that place, I, I went there once, went through it, but like the item wise, there's nothing in there I really want. Uh, it's just some magic. There's a staff and uh, it's the cerulean, um, like the cerulean tier medallion or something like that. It's like the crimson, crimson medallion, but uh, for magic, like FP. Um, so it's good for your magic user. There's also the, if I remember correctly, the carrion glint blade staff. So that's in there, but other than that, uh. Other than that, there's really nothing in there. It's just rats. Rats and spooky people, other known as mages. So I I don't have I don't even have a build that would use it. Well I mean my mage build sure would use the medal uh, medallion, but other than that I don't I don't have anything of use there. There's a staff up there too. For, uh, over right there in that tower. Don't remember what that one's for either. I don't know. Like what staff it's for? I think it's for like. I think it boosts Carrion Knight. Yeah, Carrion Knight stuff, uh, spells, Carrion Knight spells, and then the one over there just boosts 
um, specifically glint blade stuff. So anything with a blade. Okay, my what? My, my hands are so sweaty. I can't open the chip. <sighs> Jesus Christ! Use that grip strength, me. Oh, I forgot about the tibia. Tibia man. Boss time. The beast eye quivers. This guy's super easy to up there. Over there this time. Okay. Normally he's first goes up onto the hill, but he doesn't. Um, this guy normally gets staggered pretty easy. Please stop doing those things. I don't, I don't like you. Please, just get staggered, man. Come on, come on, man, get staggered. There you go. Bam! Oh, no, didn't work. Nope. <laughs> didn't realize that's what he was doing. Yeah, I should have My dude. How's my dude doing? Oh. Not amazing. I really need to level him up. He's plus nothing. They go up to plus 10, I'm pretty sure. Most people would just throw on the, um... Most people just, you know, throw on the, um... Mimic tier and are just like, eh, there you go. Summon. You know, and they just use that for the rest of the game. Which isn't a bad choice. Like, obviously, it's really good. I've always just found that to be kind of cheap. Fun, but cheap. Um, might be kind of cool in this build, but I've always kind of liked the um, Bandish Knight Envol. He's like, if I use summons on a build, he's normally the guy I just go with. Just normally is. Uh, he's just fun. He's not the best, but he's definitely not the worst. Jesus Christ. Normally he teleports everywhere. Like he goes over there, he goes over there, he goes over there. I literally made him stay here the whole boss fight. Like he tried to teleport. Come here. Come here. Yeah, shh, shh. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> it's terrifying, actually. Imagine you think you're the shit. You're walking around. You're you're a mariner of death. You're just floating around. You see this guy come in. No shirt, pants, boots, some gloves, a sword, and a shield. It's other summonable dude. You're just like, man, it's too easy. I I beat I beat trolls. I beat big things. I beat terrifying things, right? I beat knights of old. You just see me roll up, and you're like, easy. And then there's just me holding you there, like, no, no, no. Like a fish out of what? Like a fish you're trying to keep hold of? Just still on the string. Still on the the fishing string. You're just trying to keep hold of it. Just did that once. The bass. It's just like, come here. they're tough. Like you don't realize how tough it is to hold a fish in place. Why? Why are you here? No, go away. Go away. Stop. You know what? No. You know, I'm not going to be stupid. I'm not going to be stupid. I'm going to get the side of grace first. I've done this too many times. I fight that guy. And then I don't get the side of grace. I always like to fight that guy. But I got I to gotta learn my lesson. Touch grace. Touch grass. Grass touch. Alright, if I kill that guy, I'll probably get enough runes to level up real quick. Oh. I should probably save them. Probably should save them. Now that I'm now that I'm think talking about it, I should probably save them. So I love, love my stuff. This guy's a tough motherfucker. Tough nut. Tough uh, tough cookie. Tough nut to crack. Nope. Bam. Yep. 
obviously this is a little bit easier to do some strength build, but still. Oh, damn. Ow. Yeah, he just hit me first. That's how it goes sometimes. There you go. There you go. Oh, I got the Knight's Great. No way I got the Knight's Great sort of first try on that dude. Come on. That hurts. That hurts. It took me like a few hours last time to get that shit. Yeah, you, uh, it's a 100% drop rate for the first time you kill him to get the Dragon Cult prayer book, so if you're trying to get Dragon Cult stuff, it's definitely a good idea to go to him. Right. I need to go up to there, but I think I'm going to upgrade my weapon real quick. My weapons. Hold on. I don't really want the Bestial Swing, just to be honest, because... The two fingers seal is actually better. Finger seal. Because it scales with faith. This build is scaling with faith. Like, this whole build is faith and strength. So, it would probably benefit me a good bit more. Oh, should probably sell my old one then. Uh, cannot. Whatever, I just won't then. Yeah, it's. Look, it looks worse. Right, incant scaling, it looks worse. But that's just because it scales worse with strength. It scales far better with faith. It's a C scaling of faith. So, since this is scaling with faith primarily, it, it'll end up being better. This is, an ob this is obviously not the one I'm ending up with. Seal wise, I forget the name of it. I've. I, this is the only thing I'm really looking up that much. Weapons. Elden Ring Wiki, man. Where is the uh, Crawfish whip? Sacred Seals, here we go. Golden Order, is that what I was planning on using? So none of these boost specifically crucible, uh, uh, crucible. I forgot what it's called, but whatever. Crucible night like stuff like uh, and cats. So that's fine, but so this one, they're both faith scaling. Just looking at the charts real quick. So, obviously, they can both be leveled up to 10 with somber smithing stones. Good to know. So, it starts out at so the Erd tree seal starts out at C and goes up to B, A, and then it ends out at S, while this one ends out at A with worse scaling. Erd tree just. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Erd tree since this just scales better with faith. Far better with faith. Um, then the Golden Order one. Golden Order boosts Golden Order stuff, so if you're using those in the Intations, obviously you'd get that one, but I'm just using Faith, so Erdtree seems to be the way to go. Erdtree still seems to be the way to go. Now, where do I get it? Uh, Volcano Manor found a corpse in, in a cell near the Omen Killer enemy in the town below the prison town church site of Grace in Volcano Manor. Good enough. 
Okay, so once I get to Volcano Manor, I just, uh, Manor. Volcano Manor. Yeah, I can get that. Uh, one moment. Gonna have to BRB for a little bit of a... A little bit of a potty break. Yo, that dude's got the gremlin helmet on. Alright, anyways, I'll be right back. Three hours for how long this fucking stream's gonna go, Jesus. Alright. Time to level up well, your boy's stuff. Strength and armaments. Bobam. 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 Alright. Uh, plus six with this. Almost plus six. Um, I need four more plus twos for eight, 14 more, 14 more plus twos. I know I probably can't get that, so I'm just going to 
get my sword to level six. To plus six. Two, four, six. Yeah, yeah, I get. Wait, six. Plus four, just eight. So I just got four. So just four more. I don't even know if I can level my stuff up now, but it's fine. I could have saved. I could have gotten level plus. I could. I could have gotten plus seven too. So I just have that. Oh, you know what? You know what? I just thought of something. I just thought of something. Crack crystal. Let me use that shit. Don't have enough for that shit. Not even close. Um, just barely was able to get this. Alright, so now my sword is actually plus 7, shield's plus 4, finger seal is just kind of hanging out. It's fine with me. Okay. So I'm gonna go to the Erd, Erd tree avatar now. The next one. Hold up. Nope. Yeah. Let's test it out on your boy. See the improvement. Because before it was just level plus, plus two. No, plus three, I think. Plus four more pluses. Ooh, that's bad. Do you see his eyes? Look at that. There's more damage, I'll tell you that. Ooh, yeah, this definitely does more damage. This, I don't even have flame gravity strength on either. Oh, yep. Sturminer. I wasn't even looking at my health. Rutler Raggy, I'm about to bite the big one. through here should probably heal now I think about it okay Some chill music riding along on a, a horse you know hey you know what it's John are you a horse what are you I, I don't know what this thing is What are you? You both? Nah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't. Horse with horn. Horse with horns. Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot about those guys. Mmm, fun. Dude. I 
forgot about them and I didn't miss them. do but I don't want to be here with these things what the fuck oh oh you do have the things on your feet you can just oh oh, shit. oh good heavens last one didn't do that you don't have any more yep Knock these things off of its feet I found recently. It falls over. I think it's gonna do the jumpy thing though. Hey! There's lilies. It is now going to crumple a little bit. Yeah, not crumble, would sit down. Then you can go in here. The last one I, I went into was in the Weeping Peninsula, and I went up to that body and I basically duplicated a remembrance. I don't know if that's the same thing here. Yeah. You can duplicate remembrances. God, that's crazy. Can't do it here though. I guess it has to be a certain one. I don't. I don't know. Because I can't do anything with that. But I definitely haven't duplicated anything on this build yet. I, I have no idea. Probably not going to survive this run through of the uh, Erd Tree Avatar, just because I don't have that many flasks yet left or anything like that. I've gotten much better at just overall movement. Hey, <laughs> you like to see that? Shoot. I've gotten a lot better at just movement in general. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Why are you doing that? You got no bell. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> No bell. That's interesting. I wonder if that means much of anything. These guys are gonna fuck me up. Oh god, they're swarming here. kind of stuff in a place. It's funny. Alright, now we deal with this thing. Hmm. Poorly time dodge. Julio. Definitely doing more damage, obviously. Oh. Interesting. Nice little fat roll. to the thing already. I'm like, god damn, it's not even your second phase yet, man. There we go. Get 
Okay. Playing this thing, the plus seven was definitely obviously a good idea. I'm doing a lot more damage to it. Lots of guard counters. Oh. Alright, good. Never mind. I am going to get the ship first try. Maybe! Okay, I might have just jinxed it. It's fine though. Hmm. Actually. Bam! Just like that. I thought I was going to die there, I'm going to be completely honest with you. But, we didn't die. We did not die. We didn't. I have enough to level up? No. But. I keep saying but. But. However. Okay, it's here. Oh. Okay. That's kind of cool. I think Holy might not be a bad idea. Faith not. Ooh, speaking of faith not. Um... Yeah, that might not be a bad, bad idea to go get that. Um, the Faith Knot tier thing. Faith Knot tier. Jesus. Magic shot, uh, boost magic. Yeah, temporarily boosts lightning attacks, holy attacks. Just over the horizon, just over yonder, there is a little thing that I found. It's a little like, if I can find it again. It's over here somewhere. Just wandering over here one time, and there's like this queen. Hello, friend. Demi human queen, just over here, yeah. I need to level you up. Oh, we're fighting those dudes. Oof. We gotta level you up, dude. His movements just like I find them to be one of the best summons in the game. Just because of the fact of his movement. Like, Jesus Christ, like, his movement's great. And it's like, the vast majority of enemies, that jumping attack, he will just flatten them. He'll stop them from moving. Hello, friend. There we go. Just in case. Don't have very much health, but just in case. Whoa, homie, 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 please. Give me some leaf weight here. Alright, take care of the ads, please. I'll take care of big man. Big girl. Do something, huh? Fucking ow. Which isn't a bad staff, especially early game. Crystal Burst is pretty fun to use too. Um, it's back here somewhere in a pot, like one of those little cradle things. Yeah, here we go.
Um, so Church of LA, LA, the Third Church of America. Where's the first one? First one's down here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Right there, so. Um, I guess we should actually start to progress with the actual, um, academy, shouldn't I? Kinda dancing around it for a while. Probably actually start doing stuff. I feel like Elden Ring has the most spectacular stuff. Like you'll you'll find cool stuff in the other games, but I feel like this just has the most like crazy, like crazy bad shit, crazy things going on. Like fast, just fast paced, crazy shit. Like Bloodhound Step, that's that was like the coolest thing when I played this for the first time. It's like that's crazy. Right something that you're just like teleporting around, like that's badass. We are now going to absolutely molest these people's dreams of living. Ow. Can you not get through there? Can't get through there. Well, huh. well, you can teleport though. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can teleport at some point. I was being like far enough away, like a dog from Minecraft. Whoa, 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 there, buddy, 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 buddy. Stop, stop. There he is. He figured it out. Bam. Humanity restored. You can just try. Jesus fucking Christ, homie! What the fuck? I got gangbanged from three different angles. What the fuck was that shit? Unga bunga motherfuckers, just trying to try the damnness to kill this one dude. Like, are you shitting me right now? Fucking okay. Sure. All the way. I'm I'm using my horse. Oh, fuck. I'm skipping this shit. Thanks for the smithing stone, but other than that, I'm out, homie. Discovered what the key was yet. At least the set of grace right next to it. Sort of right next to it. I just gotta make sure I don't die to the dragon. Run around it. It's a very long portion of this.
the not fun part. I think, personally, personally, Liurnia, really cool place if you're doing a mage build. Otherwise, not. Otherwise, just for me personally, just not a very cool place. Like, interesting, right? But I think the design of it seems a little repetitive and it just could have been better. Could have been a lot better, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, it's just. Just barely don't have enough. Fun. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this key, go upgrade my stuff for a final time, see what I can do with that. Thank you. Um, well, I could probably just go to the giant dude over over yonder. Big dude, big black man. Probably should. What's up, Holmes? Well, it's kind of you to speak to me again. Then I presume these old bones serve their purpose. Purchase, uh, no, strengthen. Oh, no, it does take smithing stone. Yeah. Finger seal, at least. The other two don't. They take, uh, somber. Alright, here, so I can upgrade that. I need three more. Three more. So he, only, he only sells these. Okay. Cool, you. Just think I'm gonna shield up one more. All right, we go here. Obviously, you know, use the key, get into the place. I think more or less all my builds are now at Lyurnia. More or less, uh, if I'm not wrong. And we in. Like just to, okay, this entrance, Probably one of the best entrances in the game. Entrances in the game. Just like the way that you walk in and this is your first view. Like that's wallpaper material. You get like Hogwarts vibe. Like immediately this whole place is like. Because it was by. It was by the same people. Let me check something. I forgot to fucking wrote this game. George R. R. Martin. So 
Okay. I'm mean, not. Uh, that was Lord of the Rings. Right? It's Lord of the Rings. Right? Am I an idiot? Was it? What did he write? Shit. Shit. What did he write? Oh. Ah. I see now. I see what he wrote that made him famous then. Game of Thrones. Hmm. Ah. I get it. So I was I was thinking freaking wait who the fuck wrote Lord of the Rings then? You can tell I don't fucking actually watch this shit. Um, no writer, homie, writer. J. R. R. Tolkien. Okay. So it was George R. R. Martin. J. R. R. Tolkien. Okay. All right. All right. Sure. Yeah. All right. I don't know why. I like fantasy, but I don't like reading the fantasy books. I don't I don't know what it is. Dystopian books. More like more my thing. Always has been. Yo. 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 No fuck you. Bam. Bickums. Bop. Did you just headbutt me? I just realized both my gloves are sort of different. One's more cuffed like mittens, and the other one is, uh... Oh, okay. He's having a moment. He's off his meds! Okay, there we go. Are just not coming down, bro. All right. Yeah, don't mind. Touch grass. Grace grass. Same thing. All right. If you're a build that just does a shit ton of damage, Renal is pretty decently easy. But if you're a magic type character, Renal is probably, in my opinion going to be one of the harder bosses. Like, she's never necessarily hard. But most of the bosses, if you're a mage build, a common is there, are you shitting me right now? You're really about to do that to me right now. Common is there the shit out of half the bosses, and you win. Fair and square. Not even fair and square. Easy. There you go. Jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. How? Oh, because this fucking... 
Cause that fucking thing will barely stop me from moving. Should I even engage? Here's what I'll do. That's not right. No, what the fuck? Dude, the fucking dodge button exists, dude. Can we fucking use it? Come on. Do something. You know what? I'm just gonna run past these guys. Yeah. No, no, move, move. Thank you. Let's say if I get cocked by this guy because he didn't move, I'm gonna have a moment. All right, I'm gonna have a moment. All right, dog. Alright, I was hoping the dog wouldn't jump on. He did not. Yeah. Urgh. I really made it. Magical helmet over there. But I'm not getting it. Because I don't need a magical helmet. Alright, we rest here. I can level up. Alright, cool. Uh... Go with faith for now. I did not think about that. Go! Ow. Yeah, that, that hurt. Why are you focusing on me? <laughs> there. Jesus. Of course, of course. Um, focus on my other dude, please. He did. Mm -hmm. Do something. Ah, ah. All right, there you go. I got greedy. Oh. Uh. I got greedy, and for that, I got... What? No, fuck that, dude. That's fucking bullshit, dude. That's fucking bullshit, dude. I'm not accepting that. I I don't fucking accept that shit. That's fucking annoying as shit. That's not even... What the fuck happened? 
But there's no time for me to react. Fuck off. Let me run. Get in there. Just use big man right off the bat. And then just... Survive long enough to get away. He's gonna do his funny little thing. His little dance. I'm just not even gonna... I just need to keep this guy alive long enough. As to where I don't... He's not doing a whole lot of damage. And he's taking a lot of damage. Mm, we both got caught on that one. Where are you going, man? Ah! Again! Dodge button! Work! annoyingly fast. You have to deal with his fucking swords. And then him, of course. Look, look at this. Someone's swords. You have to deal with them. Then you gotta watch out for him. So you're already annoyed by the freaking swords. Yeah, no, no, that's gonna... What? What swords? What are you talking about? the fuck up. Great. It's fucking bullshit, dude. My least favorite fight in the game other than mounted fucking enemies. Mounted enemies will remain the bane of my fucking existence. Other than that, the fucking Red Wolf Radagon, dude. He's a f most fucking annoying fucking bitch in this entire game. I'm still looking. I don't want to fucking talk to you. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Great. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Okay. 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 Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? Shut up. Shut. Shut. You guys are 20 feet away. I I suppose I'll ask Just. You guys are 20 feet away. Just talk to each other. Great. Now I can level this motherfucker up. Good to see you again. I have you to thank, don't I? I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But. If I might be able to help you, and if there's well, I certain Rodrika. <sighs> well, I took you, Mama, to lay out your arms, then. Yeah. 
more. One hundred more. Let's see how much this affects the fight. I don't like Raya Lucaria. Visually astounding. Very cool looking place. Notice how I've used the word looking and looks every single time I've tried to describe this place. It looks wonderful. You know what it is though? Terrible. It's awful. It's not well designed. It's just annoying. Like there's a okay, there's a difference in a Souls game. Souls games aren't inherently they're here to fuck you over, but not like this. This is inherently being just unnecessary. Yeah, okay, see like that. Like that, like right there. Tell me that. Tell me what that's like, bro. What is that? Okay, yeah, thank you for that. So nice. Oh my god, do something, please. Okay, and he interrupted his attack. Alright, that's nice. And well. And well, help. Can't thank you. No for that. That was nice of you. That was poorly timed, to be honest with you, on my part. Oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> that dog is the bane of every strength build character's existence. Player's existence. Just ten more levels into faith. Just ten. I just leveled up. Yes, I, of course I leveled up. Jesus. All right. Normally, so I'm just gonna use the. There's no. I don't know why they did it like this. I really don't. But there's no stake of America before the boss. Like normally there'll be like. Like even if there's no. Say race, there'll be like some sort of. Some. Really. Sometimes there will be something like that, like a, like, most of the time there'll be like a side of grace or something. Not here. Not here, homie. Oop. I better get suited up for this motherfucker. <sighs> this guy about to make my whole career worse. You see what I mean? Made my whole day a little bit worse. Yeah, he does this like un he, he it's like a universal cock machine. No. That's right, buddy. No. I'm not allowing you to do that shit to me again. Oh fuck. Uh oh, I, did, I, I didn't realize it was piercing so much shit. And you're dead. Sorry. 
See, like, now I just... I do get the shield, though. Now I don't have enough for the thing, but... Whatever. Shush. Shush. Oh, hello. There's the other one over there. And my dude's just gonna wander around kind of attacking things. Which is good for me. I wonder. Hey, I know I'm probably not gonna. Oh, thank you for that. That was nice. Come, Hit them. Thank you. Time to be born than you. Ah, over there. It's like I know I'm probably not gonna survive this, so I just wanna test that out. If I could like stun her, like with the mariner, if he's doing something, then we can try and stun him out of it, like out of that action. I wanted to see if I could do that with Nala. You cannot. There's a book right fucking here. Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. So happy cut out then. Alright. I know exactly what she's about to start off with. Go for the dude, not me. Go for the dude, not me. Ah, no, no, no. Okay. Um. Uh oh. Please go for the dude, not me. Go for the dude, not me. Go for the dude, not me. Ow. Just, no. Stun like that bitch. No. Oh. oh Jesus Christ. Oh, ow. Oh! Okay. This is actually gonna be a pretty easy fight. Now that I'm looking at it, I would like to upgrade and the bottle here. Let us venture into some ruins. Mm. I'm trying to think real quick. So I'm guessing you'll get a grave or like something like a ghost glove wart, glove wart, bell bearing, because those exist. I'm guessing you'll get those in catacombs instead of mines so catacomb hunting okay so there's one here not that one uh that one gives you like this, this is the one that if you backstab somebody it heals you <sighs> talisman um i trying to think of catacombs that would be around here I don't know, actually. Hold on. You know, I'm just gonna look it up. I'm just gonna stop being a little bitch. I'm just gonna look it up. Elven Ring. Ghost, Glowport, Bell Bearing. And lead you to no crony. What? I all the way one through nine getting these Bell Bearings. Now, the first one you'll have to beat Radon, which is over Star Scourge Radon, which you can reach from uh, Redmain Castle over here. And then once you beat him, you can go to Fort Height West. There'll be a hole in the ground that'll take you underground and lead you to Nokron, the Eternal City. You'll go to Nokron Eternal. I just get to Nokron. All right, so I have to be with Don before I can get that. Here, I'll beat Renala and then I'll go fight with Don. 
would I want to fight Radon? No, because he's spooky. But, you know, I will. No. This fight, I could do on my own. But, I kind of like to have like some sort of gimmick for build. Not gimmick, but like sometimes I'll, I'll do something like that. So like with my um, like scythe build, my reaper build. That character, for some reason, the Ronnie never showed up to give me my spirit build and all that. So I just opted to not summon people anymore. Summon people, like players, or even just AI with things. Uh, so that's that kind of thing. The knife build, obviously, is like... Uh, what was it called? I can't look anything up for that build. I have to go off prior knowledge. Pertaining to that build, I have to go off prior knowledge the entire time while I'm playing it. Which is fun, because I have to explore. Because I have no knowledge about knives. And I've had to kind of figure out that parrying is the way to go with uh, knives and thrusting swords. Because they do a ridiculous amount of criddle. R criddle? Critical. No. Uh, Banish Night Angle just makes this entire fight easier. Just to be honest. Uh, thank you for that. That was nice. Thank you. Knowledge. She's throwing knowledge at me, man. Come on. Nope, nope. Oh, you're back there. Uh, yeah, there it go. Uh, that's what frightens me about going back there. Oh, is she coming down? Good. Just beating a defenseless woman. Fuck yeah. Let's go, baby. And take moment. Oh, run, run, run! Oh, yeah. Ow, ow. Dude, I swear to God. Oh my god, this is why I hate these fucking ankle biters. Fuck off. Where is... Oh. Shit. Nope, no, no, come here. No books. Yep. What the fuck? Who's that? I've never seen that one before. Jesus. He just did like seven times. There's always new stuff every time. I swear to God. Alright. Bubble. Did I drink the bubble? I did not drink the bubble. Uh, bubble can wait. Bubble. Okay, I guess we're going with this one. Nope. Stunlocker. Literally, us two can just stunlocker. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, speaking of... Son of a bitch. Fighting that dude. Ah, oh, I died. I, I didn't press the dodge button fully. I just, I think I need to be more, because I walked into that with no health, um, like pots, no health pots. So I think I might just need to be a little bit more vigilant to that. I think I just might need to be a little bit more wary of that. Because <laughs> I walked in there with no health. It was... But I still got it, like, super low. It's... Between me and Vanish Knight, like, see what I mean? Like, he's a good mix for a strength build, at least. Or really any build, to be honest with you. He's just a good summon all around, in my opinion. Obviously, there's better... Um, there, uh, in my opinion, I like him the best, but... Yeah, there's other summons that are pretty good. Yep. 
yep. Oh, sorry, I can't control. Up. My recommendation is having like a summon like wolves or something, at least like wolves. Uh, don't have anything too slow because you want them to be kind of wandering around fighting these other little little things. You kind of want that to be them to be kind of wandering. Uh, why did I walk right into that? Yeah, yeah I just got to be more vigilant, like I said. Please don't be somewhere really annoying. Where? Oh, she's down. Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh oh! Oh, crap! I need more... Do, do you want to do this right now, miss? Walking. What do you mean by that? Alright, where? Where? Oh, oh, fucking globes at me. Oh, books and globes and shit. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm gonna go home. Uh, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Why? Why? Sometimes the lock on doesn't make much sense. Yeah, my Banish Knight's just kind of like going through killing everything. Which is convenient because I don't have to focus on it as much. It's like he just kind of clears out half of the room at a time. Oh, where are the other ones? Oh, fucking God! What the f I. I've never had to wait this long. I have to find them. Where are they? What the hell? Where is it? Oh my god, it's back here. Come, sweeting. Time to be born anew. I really don't want to get fucking... We just bit that entire globe in half. Uh, goddamn. Too a lot of gum or something. That's gonna be a chandelier falling. Yeah. You see a little red... Or like fire dropping from this guy. It's normally it means it's gonna drop. All right. Speaking of dropping, fall down. And okay. Get this out. How's your health looking, like guy? I'm fine. All right. Now I gotta run because she always does this freaking attack. Yeah, just run. Don't don't dodge. In my opinion. I didn't think I did that. Alright. I got you, homie. Let's roll. Is the moon coming after me? Or him? Definitely. Never mind. Alright. Thing fall. Do your thing. I'm coming. No! Oh. Dragon. All right, he's gonna be a fucking nuisance. Oh shit! Angle is dead. Oh fuck! Yeah, that's that's a problem. Please be a giant. All right, you know what? Bloodhound's not that bad. Where are you going though? No, why? Don't be the wolves. Oh, fucking Christ. See, this is all she does. She just summons shit. Oh, okay, I thought that was a summon. I'm like, is there, are you summon a gremlin? Okay, yeah, yeah, Thank you so much right now. I hate these wolves. 
No. Giant? Alright, you know what? That's manageable. Because you just ignore it. Just like all the other problems in your life, ignore them until they go away. No. That's how we do it around here. That's how we do it around here. Yeah, baby. Oh, my cat's gone. What? Wait, what? My door is not open, but my cat's gone. Hold up. Did you have a bed, bro? Did you have a fucking bed? No? Nah, bro. She's just gone, bro. She's just dead. I don't even know what happened. She despawned. Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence he hide. There are books and light aplenty. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? Yo, is that Berserk, bro? A sweeting Yo, what's up, Berserk? Guts? Guts, is that you? My beloved Guts? Egg. Rebirth, cosmetic. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Leave. Not, I would birth. Um. Eh, actually. What's my stats looking like? I might want to respec. Do I even have a larval tier now that I'm thinking about it? I don't think I do. I do not. All right. So what she she gives you a wand or the full moon thing. I'll just use her remembrance then. Use it. Probably use this to get some amount of points in the face. A few points. Yeah, two, three. Was it four points? Literally four level ups. To face, so I'd only need six more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I have three slots. Oh, because I have points in the mind. Yeah. I wonder how many spell slots you can get total. Like, if you have maxed out mind, I want to look that up actually. Players will have two methods in Elden Ring to increase their memory slots. The methods require the players to get the following items in Elden Ring. Memory stones and moon of Noxtella Talisman. Or moon of Noxtella Talisman. You can get memory stones by killing major enemy bosses in the open world. Some of the mini bosses will drop them as well. These bosses can be found after completing legacy rendering. <laughs> Oh, you just buy them too. 30,000 runes. Oh. 
So total 10. And then with that talisman, you can have a total of 12 memory slots. Who the fuck's going to use that many spells? Jesus Christ. That's, in my opinion, a little overkill. But goddamn, all right, cool. Then you get like 5. Now you can get like 12, man. If you really put your heart to it. Um, I thought it was... So in like Dark Souls, it was by leveling up your... Whatever your... I think it was mind. It was like your mind stat or whatever. Upgrade that. It upgraded the amount of slots you could have. I'm pretty sure that it was just one stat for damage and magic and stuff. My legs having a moment? Is it twitching out? Having a, having, you just got one of them cramps, bro? Right. Hey, man. Hey, man. You wake up in the morning. You stretch it out. Ah, ooh! Ah. You're just in bed? Ah. Ah. Mark comes in. What? You, you alright? Cramp. I'm down. I start making gremlin noises in the bed because it fucking hurts. You're just. Alright. Cover time. That's what I was gonna go do. Don, so then I can gain access to Nokron because then I can get the funny, funny thing for the uh, the bell bearing for um, Jesus so. Ghost Glove Warp bell bearing. Makes sense though, it's like the difference between uh. Like, the difference between Grave and Ghost Glove Wards is, like, the difference between, like, you know, Smithing Stones and Somber Smithing Stones. So, like, you'll find Somber Smithing Stones. I think the first bell bearing for that is here in Kaelid. The crystal, Crystal Mine, Kaelid Crystal Mine, something like that. That's what it's called. Um, but then you'll find, like, the Smithing Stone stuff in a place a little bit easier, like in Lyurn. So. You can access Kaelid right off the bat. But it's harder than Lyurnia, in my opinion. Yeah. Mexico is pretty difficult. Now, I remember seeing this. I was playing, first time I played this game, it was the first week it came out. That's a dragon. No, I don't, I disagree. I, I don't want to be here. Um, excuse me, lead. I don't, I don't want to fight you. It's fine. Keep going. Is this a church? Hey, it's a church. Hey, I've not been here before. Oh, dude, dude, no, 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 please, 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 stop. Stop. Where's the sight of grace? There's a sight of grace. Fuck off. There's a sight of grace. There's a sight of grace. I can't get the sight of grace. You old bitch. You old bitch for that. No, you bitch for that, right? Ow. Ow. Yo, I'm wearing the same shit, bro. Come on. Help a brother out. Oh. Yeah, that didn't help much because it got rid of all the things that I healed for. Dragon sees me. Dragon does see me. It does indeed see me. So this is the okay. Never mind. This is not a church. This is the the other dragon communion area. Okay. Right there. Right next to Sun Grace. That's kind of annoying. So yeah, now this is the other dragon communion thing. Interesting. Anyway. 
anyways. Hello? There we go. Wait, how far of a drop is this? Yeah, it's survivable. I think. It is. Thank you for that. I'll take that. Please, please, no. Do not hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's like three of them. I was just joking around, but I turned behind me and there are like three. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, bird. Alright, yep, bird. Ah. There's a troll just standing up there menacingly and it's kind of funny. Look at him, he's just fucking, he's just up there. Where, where you go? There he is, he's just, oh. Sick. Alright. Radon time. The Radon Festival. No, no bird. I did not sign up for this. Oh, I resign. I didn't sign up for this job. No. I fuck off. What the f dude? This bird is progressively pissing me off more and more. Jesus. Dogs I can deal with because I can just outrun them. But these birds, homie, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. You can go just directly in, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. You just go directly in. But why? Why, uh, why no portal? Cannot be used now. Are you shitting me right now? You tell me I have to go. Wait, but normally there's a portal to the inside. Okay. Ah! Thank you so much. Get up! What the fuck? Get up! I love this game. Why can't I use the fucking portal? What is the issue here? What is the fucking problem? Yeah, and then there's that. Which is so fun. Get up. Get get the fuck up. Get up. What is this? I just lost all my fucking runes too. God damn it. I hate this game. What do I do?
impassable great bridge. Literally called an impassable great bridge. The impassable great bridge. I've always taken portal. For some reason, it's not fucking activated. Okay. Wait, have I activated dialogue with uh, Alexander yet? I did. Yeah, he's not here. How would I gain access to her? Don. Oh wait, wasn't the wasn't there an invitation of some sort? The idea it was like an invitation to something. I do want to check something. I do want to check the time. Looks like it's about midday. It's four o'clock. It's not midday. Four thirty. Well, four thirty in the afternoon. I'm just streaming for four and a half hours, which means I started this at about noon. Oh, interesting. Most of the day has been uh, wasted. It's nice. Whatever. Um. Dragon Marrow West. Dragon Barrel West. <sighs> just trying to think of. Yeah, I'm gonna just get the maps real quick while I'm thinking about this. So, where would I get the invitation? Because I'm just, I've, I've never thought about it. Now that I'm realizing, I'm thinking about it, I've never really thought about... i never really thought about this. I've always just been able to take the portal and just do that. Get away with doing that. So... Central America. Welcome. Welcome to Central America. Get it fuck off, please. Could have just been like fucking hair being retarded, but. Just the demons. Ah, uh, hello. Purchase. That's interesting. Arrow. You got like flaming bolts here, too. Great help. Yo. Oh, this is the, the stuff that one chick was wearing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, pff, uh, uh, okay. So I gotta get the map real quick. Great. Uh, I have all of Kaylee now. So. I'm just looking it up. Screw this. I'm just looking it up. inside of the active 
activated. Um, and the Radon Festival should be activated as well and ready to go. So we're just gonna head. What? I've never had to do any of this before. Hey everyone. I've just walked up from the right deck this battalion. I just skip Godric boss fight. No, I don't care about that. I already did it. Ow. Oh. Okay, so I have to activate the Grand Lift of Dectus. And, well, the I don't have to, but normally it would be Ronnie's quest line. Which I don't really care for, but... I don't care for because there's nothing down there that I need. Other, like, I can still get down there doing the Radon. Just, I can still get down there doing the Radon. But, uh, boss fight getting down to knock on. Still get down there and do what I gotta do there. Um, which is really the only thing I need down there is I think just the horn shield. Yeah, the horn shield, which is from a crucible knight. So I just parry the shit out of him and then get that shield. But, you know, alright, examine seal. Now I'm going to the, uh, what was it? Something highway? Chicago, I don't know. Oh, the Belgium Highway. Um, yeah. Good morning, retards. You motherfucker. My friend RJ just goes, good morning, retards. Into the chat, bro, it's four and a half in the afternoon, dude. Jesus Christ. Motherfucker, it's dinner time, and this guy will be like, morning. I hate you. I may have miscalculated. No, 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 we're fine. All right. Listen, we got ways to do these things. Uh, yeah, no, we're chilling. Oh, there's catapults. Is that a fucking? Ooh. Is that a? That's a fucking trebuchet. Is it? Yeah, I think that's a trebuchet, man. That's badass. It's not a catapult. That's a trebuchet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Because normally catapults are like spring-loaded, not weight-operated. Give or take. Yeah, it's a trebuchet. That's badass. It's always a string around it. Trebuchet is like a big sling. It's actually better than the catapult. Far better. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, I heard some people saying that Elden Ring was the last Souls game. Which, their reasons were valid. Oh, fuck. Hold up. 
I may have done cupped it. Give me a moment. Wait, do I have neither of them? I've... Uh, I haven't been to the one place, have I? I have not. I have not been to there. Alright, that's quick. That's easy. But, in any case, um... I heard some people saying that there wasn't going to be... They, they thought that there wasn't going to be a, um... Second... Or not a second. They didn't think that there was going to be another Souls game. Right? Um, this is my friend in school. Now, I've seen people on YouTube talking about this, but this interaction was a friend of mine at school. And they said, listen, dude, I don't think there's going to be another Souls game. And I'm like, do, do you play Souls? And he goes, I have. And I'm like, when? You've never mentioned this before in your life. And he goes, well, no, no, I played, a, I played Dark Souls 3 once. And I'm like, okay, so you know fuck all about souls games and he goes no no, no i know and i'm like no you don't no no, no 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 i said lore of you know dark souls 3 right now and he's like dude i don't know that and i'm like then you don't know souls games you're not a souls player right whatever it doesn't matter it's not a bad thing i'm just saying right souls players are kind of masochist sometimes to be honest but because i love these games but um He said he didn't think there was going to be another Souls game. And I said, so you saw this on YouTube? He said, yeah. He said it presented a lot of good points. I'm like, okay, what were the points? And he said, well, he said the video that he watched was pretty negative. Or there's uh, one video that he watched that's pretty negative. Where it's just like, that Elden Ring was a last ditch effort. Elden Ring was like, their last resort. Like a like a scapegoat almost. Fail safe, or uh, plan B. There you go. I finally found the word for it. Um, no, not even plan B. Just like a last ditch effort. Right? Um, to keep the Soul Series alive. Which I don't... I disagree with. I, I, I disagree with that. I disagree with it for one reason. The main reason being... A last ditch effort wouldn't be this good. They've been working on this for years. Or a few years and it's been really, it's really good. Some people have even said it's the best in the Soul series, which is debatable, but the the thing is there. So like people like this game. This is a, a objectively a very, a good game, right? Objectively a good open world game and objectively a good Souls game, right? I'm not saying best, I'm saying good, right? Objectively, it is pretty good. Cherry Creek. So, my, um, the other thing I wanted to say on that is even though it's good, and I'm not saying it's the best, I'm saying it's good, the point is, is that, no, it's definitely not a last to check. So that, that point's already thrown out the window. Right, they're not just appeasing the masses. They're well, an open world game. First of all, it's just a cool idea to put into a Souls game format. So that's present. That that fact is present. Oh, um, Miyazaki has said before, 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 that he did maybe want to do an open world. I he did say that at some point. Um, he said like something like Zelda. Not like Zelda, but something similar to Zelda's form of like open world, right, looting, dungeons, that kind of thing. Um, he has said that before. Uh, now this was a long time ago, it was only like one time, or like a few times that he was just, he just mentioned it. But it's there, for a reason, because he, he did think about it before. It's not just a, a last ditch effort to appease the masses and make money. It's not, also that, that's not Miyazaki's thing. And he also wouldn't get someone like Jer uh, George R.R. Mann, I forget his name again, but you know what I mean, to work on this, because he's also a very good, obviously a very good writer. And so it's... But, all in all, it's not a last-ditch effort. It's definitely not a last-ditch effort. Dead. What's up, man? 
See, I leveled up this motherfucker once, and he's already, like, beastly. Significantly better. Because it's just his moveset, in my opinion, that makes him that good. Um. So, yeah. That's... Oh. So that's what I'm saying when it comes down to the, uh, the whole argument of that. And I certainly think, especially now, there's going to be more soul stuff. There's DLC coming for Elden Ring. Whatever that is, we don't know yet. Because they've released <laughs> very little. They released the Coliseum, obviously. But that's not the DLC. Whatever they're going to release, um, they've been working on for a while now. So it's probably going to be pretty big. And I'm excited for it, personally, as a Elden Ring player. I need to beat the game before then, which I, I will do at this rate, like I just, I will do, but, you know, um, yeah, um, but, it's like, I sincerely like the Souls games. And the trajectory that they've taken, they've only gotten more popular. And it's not like a thing with Fortnite where it got like super popular and then just died. No, this has been like, it was very niche, still pretty niche in Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, right? Still very niche. A lot of people didn't like that game. Dark Souls 3 came out, or... I think Bloodborne came out before Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 came out... People love Bloodborne for good reason. I have not played it. I played it once. Like, the one tutorial area. Part of the tutorial area that I got off. Because it was at a friend's house. Dark Souls 3. Barely played. Again, I did the first boss. Didn't kill him. I just I played him once or twice. And... So... It's like Dark Souls 3. People loved that. People love Bloodborne. Sekiro exists. Still same company, same series. People loved it. And then Elden Ring came out. The other games people loved. This game opened up to a wider audience and everyone loved it not everyone but like the vast majority of people freaking adore this game including myself but i'm a souls fan right even non-souls fans got into the soul series via this game so it's just super interesting super cool to see that but it's also like there's no way that they're gonna stop at this point and it's not just because momentum but it's because, like, now there's so many theories popping up that... Now, there's been theories of connection between um, the different Souls games and that they're actually in the same universe. And they're just future versions or the past versions of the same world and things. Um, which exists. The idea exists and they're just different parts of the same world. And different points in time as well. Which, the idea is definitely plausible there's a lot of connections there's a few platforms but there's a bunch of connections this game came out and it's almost like people are like this is the basis like this is where it all started that's what people some people were saying so it's like the different endings are different paths because like uh the frenzied flame ending right that could have led to the dark souls series it was, what was it, like, the Moonlight ending? That would have been the Bloodborne ending. And what, what was the other one? There's one other people said would be, like, Demon Souls or Sekiro. Something like that. But it was, like, the different endings would lead to different things. Was it the Dungier ending? Hold on. Because I want to look this up, because I like this lore. Elden Ring... Elden Ring 
endings connected Okay, yeah, so it's officially not connected. But, yeah, it was like the game's endings. So it'd be, fuck off. Theory's connected. Okay, so it's like, where am I going? Why am I here? Here we go. Could lead to Dark Souls. Ah, da, 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 da. Age of Stars ending could be Bloodborne, that's what it was, not Age of Moonlight. Uh, more of the fact that I uh, focus on the moon magic, further hints with the link to play for the Bloodborne, considering how important the moon is in Bloodborne. I think that's just symbolism for me. Yeah, and then what, there was like other ones too, like the different endings. All endings, hold up. All endings. Frenzied Flame and Age of the Stars ending are the only ones where you aren't the Elden Lord. Lord of the Frenzied Flame would be... Oh, here it says it right fucking here. I'm an idiot. Age of Fracture, Age of the Duskborn, Age of Order, Blessing of Despair, Lord of the Frenzy Flame, and Age of Stars. So, Lords of Frenzy Flame would be Dark Souls, Stars is Bloodborne. Fractured uh, wouldn't be anything Duskborn. I, I don't know. Uh, Age of Order. Because uh, I'm just thinking Demon Souls, Blessing of Despair. It's not real to begin with, it's just cool to think about. But, you know, in any case, what's it called? Boy, I'm so, yeah, definitely beating this game before the DLC happens, and then I'll obviously come out. I think, like, I'm pre when it comes to Souls games, I'm making so many characters on the Souls games, like it's like, and switching between them probably midstream. most likely what's going to end up happening is I'm just going to like, play a Souls game, uh, and just like, for every Souls game I play, I'm just going to make a playlist, so like whenever I play Dark Souls 3, I'll just put in the Dark Souls 3 playlist, I'm not even making a different one for each build, because now it would be 20 different builds, or 20 different playlists, and I'm not doing that though. Not for one game. You guys don't really care about the build. I care about the build. Specifically that I'm playing. You guys just care about watching the actual video, I bet. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys care about it. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm debating with myself. Here, you know what? I'm going to leave the stream off here for now. I'm probably going to be streaming later. I'm definitely going to be streaming later, to be honest with you. I'm going to leave it off here for right now, um, and I'll be streaming probably later. I'm just a little hungry right now, probably going to get a shower, get all cleaned up, um, and I'll be back on in a little bit. So if you guys enjoyed this, 
obviously come back if you want to. Like the VOD uh, on YouTube, I mean, like the video. Uh, if you're on Twitch, give me a follow if you want to see more. You get notifications when I get live. And uh, other than that, catch you guys around. Peace.